prefer go into the natural uh, uh, habitats of the fish you catch many of them you didn't kill them all you understand now you transfer them from their natural habitat of rivers and the ocean and transfer them into your farm into your farm aquarium there the fish are alive they are feeding they are running around, and around but they are under your control oh chinek i don't know sometimes i don't know maham biko Line me pe aruna people are understanding me. Please tell me because sometimes all the men need somehow. You know, you 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 see the fish inside the aquarium, the farmers' aquarium, eating very well, but he must be eating what the farmer pro provide. He must be going according to the farmers, you know, uh, 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 request or the farmers' way the way he wants them to be because he's breeding them for a purpose they are no more in their natural habitat no tide sometimes if i why are we like this can you tell me that in a place where in Biafra land nobody we don't build aircraft where we have people that can manufacture aircraft that can build aircraft but no way. We don't build. Oh, it is very sad. In Ilegide, Do you know the reason? We have been removed from our natural habitat. We have been removed from our way of life and put into the colonizer's farm. So that you know we are eating and drinking and doing our normal thing, but we are doing it according to the way of our colonial, evo colonialists. Let me put that. I don't call them colonial masters any longer because they are not masters. They are evil. Are you hearing me? So when the fish, once the fish is in the aquarium, the farmer's aquarium, the farmer will be feeding it fat. They will be going there. According. If the farmer, if they come, they, if the farmer wants to come and test, oh, they are not uh, growing fat quick. He will add more protein to their feed so that to make them grow fat. And the fish will think that he's feeding very well. He's in his uh, natural habitat, but not natural to eat inside the water but not natural to eat because there is a purpose that is why we need to extricate ourselves remove ourselves from this farm this farm called nigeria british farm are you hearing what i'm saying we need to remove ourselves because we have been into this farm for so long if we are in our natural habitat we we encourage our algae I don't know what you can call it in English. We can, we will encourage you. We see a child that never goes to sleep, attends even any uh, formal education. Obiu do a robot. Obiu do something highly sophisticated. You'll be asking, how does this boy know this? You don't know. This uh, we should have been our way of life. But do you see any government uh, taking charge of it? No way. Because we are in the British farm. The same way they remove the, the, the fish, a fish. The farmer removed the fish, go and catch his free fish from their natural habitats of rivers and oceans, and now transfer them alive into their farm, in their aquarium, and be feeding them for his purpose. That is how we are. I could remember when our leader was on ground. I could remember sometimes, you know, many people used to forget. You will see Bia France that built different, different things. Both that build different types of cars, different types of robots, different types, you know, showcasing to our leader. Now, uh, you see. You know, yeah. These people, they are not intellectuals. They didn't attend uh, Harvard University. 
Now you ask, how do they have this type of knowledge? Hmm. Uh, for you to answer this question, it would be, you have to make it deeper. You have to think deeper. They have removed us from our natural habitat. Do you understand? We are as the colonizers. They are enjoying their natural habitat, and that is why they are progressing. But we are streamlined to remain in the farmer's aquarium. So how can you progress? Anything they want, they do. Anything the farmer wants, they do. They continue forcing us. Britain continue forcing us to stay there. It is our diversity, is our strength. This and that. Look at her. Look at you. Just, just let me give you an example. Do you remember when they wanted, when they arrested them? Um, Rocha Sokorocha. Rocha Sokorocha, who is a former governor. Do you remember? When he was praying, they came from up through the ceiling. They break his bulletproof uh, door. It cannot now they throw up they scatter everywhere the roof and the rochas were vidoring because he no 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 hey jesus jesus mary my brother no god a former governor lying down flat on the floor it went viral and he was taken but look at bello the former governor of kogi state He's above the law. Don't you see? He is above the law. They cannot take him. They invited him for questioning sometime, I think, in the EFCC, whether this week or last week. And they say he escaped. Since that time, they put him wanted. They cannot catch him. Uh, somebody made a video. I think whether he's a Northerner. I don't know whether he's an outsider because every Northerner we call an outsider is a lie from the pit of hell. He made a video. He said, look, Nigeria is a joke. He gave an example on how Rochas was a, a former governor arrested immediately. But when it comes to Yaya Bello, former governor of uh, Kogi State, who was, uh, uh, who is now, let me see, who is now wanted for, for, is it 17, 17, uh, oh, 82 billion naira. Now they can no more see him. They put his photo one third. That is the Nigeria we are in. British farm. We are all judge all well. All animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Oh, the Anos case is still going. They arrested him. But once he comes to a Nathana, now they, 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 he's, uh, they are, uh, some are more equal than others. Our people are, uh, can we learn? Can we learn? The answer is no. Fling governor. Fling a Kogi ex governor, Yaya Bello, plotting to live for North, not North African country, to reunite with his wife and investments. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see the farm, the British farm we are in? We are not in our natural habitat in any way. N never. We are not in our natural habitat. We are in the British farm and they deal with us as they want and the sky i mean the the uh, uh, ceiling remains our limit do you see that is the sad part of it but the problem is that many of our people don't know they don't recognize this they don't know they don't know which is very very sad According to our late leader, Odime Gujuku, he said something. Let me just play it a bit, whether it can come. Because we need to highlight. I question Yoku because we continue talking. Don't forget that tomorrow, today we are on religious discussion, please. But we'll come. We'll come to that. I want to play what our eternal leader, what he said. I want to play what he said, but I don't know whether he's coming. I don't know. But I will try to play it. I am telling you, I will try to play it. So, what am I trying to say? The colonial, evil colonialists, 
they have removed us from our natural habitat all all way around you know now they put us in their aquarium i know they are now washaka shaka how do you think that we can progress as a people no just tell me how how do you think any fish in the aquarium of the farmer is at the farmer's mercy that is the reason why you see how in, 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 you know let me where where do i put it police shot and killed a man from i think Abreba. police shot and killed him just for nothing because he are, he are a nigerian that is we are in Bri we are in a british farm so uh, they don't they don't care they don't care we are in a british farm they don't care okay nigeria okay the trigger happy officer who shot dead businessman in abia for refusing to give bribe nigerian police arrest they say they have arrested the guy who arrested that is a, if unless he's a non fulani if the policeman is a fulani forget it even if they arrest him but it is what is happening every day just because he refused to give a hundred naira bribe now they just got gone and kill him it's an evil man so you 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 are just a farm animal and the guy they say his father they are wealthy people that's why i used to tell you you are as an evil man nigeria is our graveyard all oh, whether you are rich you are poor you are where to can be destroyed under in a twinkle of an eye even you will be begging for your life because you are in a british farm you understand me so the the only the only option we have is to support what we are doing so that we extricate remove ourselves from this british farm and go back to our roots go back to where we belong to our natural habitat because it is not where we are is not natural to us we are trying to you know to adapt we are trying to adapt ourselves into uh nigeria that is what that is what our eternal leader which i'm trying to bring up said but uh, of no need we try okay listen listen i think he has come let me see listen to our eternal leader we have please. found it difficult to live in that nigeria we have fought a civil war, killed so many people, and we have tried to live in Nigeria designed by Great Britain. And we have tried to live in Nigeria designed by Great Britain. Because Nigeria is designed by Great Britain. It's their farm. But it's difficult for us because it's not our natural habitat. That's why we are scattered all over the world, scavenging. A race that is sentenced into scavenging, hustling for your, you know, for yourself, for your private goodness and your family. Now hustle for yourself, scavenging for yourself. That is the, the, you know, that is the worst thing that can happen to a race. When I look at our people, misbehaving on social media he put it, he came in. this is the worst thing that can happen to a race do you see your passenger oh, these are their policies do you see your passenger your passenger is more what the role he played in placing us in this way he, he is worse than go on our passenger you are looking at these are people that constructed oh no victor no vanguage or passenger idea separate those into piecemeals and encourage us or force us say oh yeah go and survive on yourself that is why dog eat dog no don't think about your brother no just instead enter church and pray pray and for your own goodness that is why you can see you know ten people in a bus and nine will have accident and nine will die one of them will just come out and start being happy giving giving testimony that god love him this is the depths 
of the colonial legacy in us. They destroyed our natural habitat. They destroyed our natural cloak. C-L-O-A-K. Cloak. Because without our natural habitat, we, we are vulnerable. Before before the advent of uh, Oibo, we are Igwe Beacon. You know, I said it the other day. If in our culture, if somebody behaves or commits any crime against his fellow neighbor, against his neighbor, let me put it like that, in our Igbo culture, maybe he slept with uh, his uh, brother's wife, for example, is a crime. It will not be seen only as a crime against that his brother. No. It will be called um, a crime against the land. Do you know what this means? Crime against the land. Which means, even if that his brother forgives him this and that, it's not a uh, nobody's problem. He must suffer the consequence. Because he didn't sin only against the man. He, he sinned, he committed crime against everybody, against the land. Because the land connects everybody. And... He must, be, he, he must be purged for things to be normal. Do you understand it? And that is collectivity. So that when you do something, when you are planning to do something, you know that if you are discovered, if you commit that crime, you don't have issue with that person that you are victim. No. Not only him, you have issue. You have issue with the whole community and you cannot contend with it. So when you are trying to do it, you think twice. But today is no more. Because we are not in our natural habitat. We are in the evil colonizer's habitat. Where they put us, where they want us to be. Remember a fish. The fish is a king in the river. In the ocean. There is nothing you can do. He is free. You know, doing all his natural stances, everything. But once a fisherman, a farmer, carry catches that fish and puts it into his own pond, into his own aquarium, his own pond, that fish is living, you know, breathing, you know, eating, you know, growing, you know, but he's doing it on uh, the, the, the farmer's purposes. Do you see the difference? That's why in our land, our local technology inventors they are not promoted how can you promote you want to look at go on go on uh, carry a bond to all Biafra invention war invention that you should have made Nigeria today to even build to start to, to, to be part of building a vehicle in going to space <laughs> because we are in a, in, a, in a British farm I hear it me <laughs> that is it so let's listen to our Itana leader. Let's listen to him. Let's listen we to We have tried to live a Nigeria designed by Great Britain and handed to us. We have found it difficult to live in that Nigeria. We have fought a civil war, killed so many people. That is the reality. So you see, uh, Obiano as a governor, and uh, immediately he tried to run away they, they caught him immediately and his case is still on they use it as black men all of them they are all criminals are supposed to be killed yes but i'm, I'm bringing it somewhere uh Rochas Okrocha, he was humiliated openly on social media he was now every, his nigeria fed him now he, he started crying for uh, jesus to help him and they humiliated him and they carried him to Abuja and humiliated him. He was a governor. They didn't say no, we didn't see him. They wanted Rocha uh, 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 No. Immediately they caught him. But look at look at the uh, governor of Kogi, ex governor of Kogi State. Yaya Bello. They say he's plotting now to live for North Africa. To reunite with his wife and investments. That's the worst part of it. I read there is another former Northern governor that uh, had investments in Arab, in Asia, different countries of Asia. He invested heavily, built factories, different factories. That is the, you see, the way, the most, the, uh, these people are evil. 
That's why in a in some look at I'm watching the photo of Yaya Belly in a lay or year even a wokayam in way. Queen way one racist monkey that war that bad one. Okay, I'm in a lay you need you 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 are watching criminality personified. He said, Okay, steal the money, loot the money, but invest it even in your place so that the people will invest it and build the factories. No way. They will carry it and go to Dubai. They will carry it and go to Malaysia. Different Asian countries. They say one carry invested in Ukraine. Ukraine. And the Russia bomb have destroyed it. Do you see? Do you see the wickedness? <laughs> Sometimes I pray. Where is the nuclear bomb to be thrown into Nigeria? Because these are people that are not supposed to live. They are evil. And the worst part of it is that they, they use religion in order to mask themselves in the worst way possible. Oh, yeah, man, they showed you in here. Who did this to on this yoji? When you loot, you you don't have in mind in order to bring any development to your to your place. Now you take money, loot money meant for the people. You go outside, you go abroad, far place, and build factories. You will pay in higher taxes. You know, does it does this thing make sense? I I cannot even understand. Does it make sense at all? We are you people from your country are being molested in that country, trying to travel there to work, looking for job. Uh, the way does Nigerians need to exist in this planet Earth? Sometimes I ask it. But do they merit to exist? No. Do they merit? When we, uh, when we get to look at everywhere and choose Nigeria in order to practice his eugenics he didn't make mistake because when you look at the actions their their characters they don't merit any space in this world they are evil nigerians they are evil yeah yeah bello every friday he will go pray he prays five times a day as a muslim don't he he will be calling you unbeliever hey in your many unbeliever they are we kill them but look at them oh look at them hypocritical they don't they don't portray any type of conscience or love for their people no but they are the people that are coming you know if nigerians understand the magnanimity of what these people are committing they will rise up and and bait all of them before god and man they will be suicidal do you see what Boko Haram is doing this and that that is child's play they should be targeting all these politicians and their cronies they should be it doesn't matter you kill you 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 buy yourself and kill them it, it doesn't matter because these people are evil they are killing nigerians in wholesale 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 destruction of lives when you see them that's why when you see they go to mosque they will be given red red carpet they will be in the first seat praying they go to church they will come to the altar and the pastor will pray all of them with that pastor imam you burn all of them they are they are evil all of them are evil they are destroying lives of people every millions of lives if these people if they loot they convert the money to themselves now use it to build the factories in villages now even if they own it it is their factory no problem as long as people are working receiving salaries organized it will not be much more much because you know just imagine just imagine they you know the money they loot in their states now they go to villages and invest it on their pri private enterprise as a factory to build tomato making factories farmlands uh, tire making factories uh, this and that factories uh, clothes factories where people are employed it doesn't matter they call it is their own but it doesn't matter because it will not be destroyed people are working providing jobs but they are primitive evil greed will make them carry that money launder it abroad 
and then you know give job to white people <laughs> give job to them any day they die although most of those factories became owned <laughs> by the their government the government of ukraine the government of asia uh, malaysia china uh, america they will take the quietly quietly you don't know that most of you you know the money that is moving out from nigeria is in the billions of dollars every hundreds of billions of dollars every blessed year going outside for investment and the people are dying in sahara desert trying to reach europe don't you see that these people they marry they don't marry to be alive the mentality what i'm saying is not only meant for the politicians i used to say it the people in the shoji africans have never risen to that uh, advanced form of consciousness for your information advanced form of civilization whereby you know they remove primitive 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 wickedness you know there is wickedness yes everybody have it but there is primitive wickedness the difference is this like what yaya bello and other other nigerians are doing they see their people suffering no job people are they, they are shouting hey, insecurity is what is causing insecurity is because there is no job people will come out from school to practice to get job or to get money to get loan to practice what they you know what they learned no way they have to survive do you know that in japan as a japanese citizen you are entitled it's, an, it's a right it's your right you are entitled to the minimum or maximum minimum of hundred thousand dollars do you know that ask any person living in japan that knows not uh, maybe they, they, there are people that will live in a country for 100 years they don't even know what is happening there for your information as a japanese citizen you have uh, the right to of hundred thousand dollars now if you take it as a loan because not everybody will be employed look look at organization organization of government oh that is development that is civilization once you are born as a japanese you have the right hundred thousand if you want collect that you go and apply they give you a hundred thousand if you want to eat it but once you spend it use it to do betting no problem but you cannot get it again that is a consequence because your own share has been given to you you misuse it if you are paying back you can get more anytime you want to take because the the government understand that look people that are moving out from school people that are that want to that even don't want to go to school again they learn one thing or the other or only when i go people with different kinds of algo they want to do one thing or the other they need to fund are you understanding me they need to finance the capital to start it anything you want to do buying and selling anything, you need the fund you need the capital to start it so they made it as a citizen you have the right to one hundred thousand dollars at least if you want take it to no it's you are not accountable to, to it but if you pay back now you can get more anytime you want you take it's your money no interest zero interest now tell me what is the kingdom of god as you are talking what is uh what are you looking at again uh, as a kingdom of god tell me okay what do you think is heaven again you will see people with uh, with hot bread people that uh, that can do things they come out from school they want to even start up something no well no 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 fun that's why women they start our women our ladies they enter hook up in order to raise money some of them try to now they have something to do but there is no in no capital to start it so they say now nah, you know uh, once you enter small no more you get that you call it easy money no more you continue you forget about what you say now why should i start going to sew as a seamstress 
where I can one man can carry me and give me 200k in a night. What is it? Now he will forget what he learned and relegate it. He said, How many times, how many months will I work to get this thing? Do you see how we are in a, an artificial British farm that they are turning us into something else? As you see, don't you see that we should double or quadruple our effort in what we are doing? Otherwise, we are a race that is meant for destruction. Britain wants to destroy our Igbo race, great Igbo race. In the Nigeria farm, in the Nigeria farm, farm, because Nigeria is a farm. It's an experiment. That's why Bill Gates have the audacity to come there to pay for everybody's organ. To buy it, you will kill everybody. They, they, they don't, because you are in their aquarium, you are in their farm. Anything the farmer wants, you do with your life. But it pains me a lot that people don't understand this. <laughs> I'm telling you honestly. It's very, very sad indeed. So, look at the hypocrisy. Now, they don't know the whereabouts of... Um, as a uh, Kogi state governor, Yaya Bello. They don't know. But when it comes to Igbo governor, governors, oh, they catch it immediately. Look at how they humiliated the MFL. Among the whole people in Buhari's um, uh, uh, union or cabinet, it's only MFL they targeted. Do you see that? They humiliated him. We are asked, there are people that are giving others to do something. That's why as an evil man, I mean, Nigeria is your grave, oh. for your information. Hapokwao is truth. We must continue. We must continue. Uh, there is another news, uh, news headline I want to read. Now, there is this news of... Today I'm going to continue on the continuous colonial legacy in Africa. Religion. That is what we are living on. Religion. Belief. They brought us belief over knowledge. And the belief now supersedes knowledge in our land. We are as they are waxing stronger. The colo evil colonizers are waxing stronger in their, in their countries with knowledge. They infected us the virus of belief. It's, a, it's an evil virus. And we continue battling with it. We continue living with it. That is what I'm going to talk about today. But before I go there, there is something I want to read. There is something I want to read. Um, there is this news on the 13th of march 2024 you are just let us because you want to pass without being noticed but you know ipob has eager eyes please <laughs> tinubus we are seeing 17 federal commissioners of population commission i will talk about this maybe monday much more i will talk about it maybe i'll come with uh, my comrade that I used to broadcast with from a gun tribe I'll come with him on Monday I'll talk about it more but let me just give a, a preamble Tinibus we are seeing 17 federal commissioners of population that is the news of 13th March 2024 is a month plus news now do you know why we are talking about it? They want to do this census without our, you know, beaming our such light on it. <laughs> you know, last time I think it was Buhari's administration that wanted to do it, but uh, when we started campaigning, they withdrew. They said, nah. let me tell you, please, dear friends that are hearing my voice, Call your brothers and sisters that are outside Biafra land. Don't ever engage in pop. You know, we have been fools for so many years. Fools, fools. We have been idiots for so many years. This is the time of knowledge. The era of knowledge. Do not get any time that Nigeria is having their so-called census. 
do not ever count be counted if you are outside the biafra land make sure that you go with your family to biafra territory to be counted are you hearing me because you know they they know they know how to do it i'll read for you what uh, they posted this uh, since last year but Ariwa, Ariwa forum she had it Ariwa. it was uh, posted by Umu, uh, uh, Umu Udomaya Community Development Council Umu Udomaya Civic Center I know it's Ikwere is our uh, brothers Ikwere now but the thing was shared by Arewa group on social media let me read for you please because sometimes we we become so idiotic Ndibu, Ndibu. We become so idiotic. We don't know how politics work. We don't know. We are, we are very bad in politics, on political reasoning. That's why we live by the day, only struggling to survive and live. Now, once you are able to buy one to Kumbo, you need to No. Our detractors are laughing at us. They have mesmerized us with you know as a people that never know anything about politics people that live in equatorial forests it's the way they are seeing us the caliphate i am telling you you know when you don't understand things how things work politically you become you you make mistakes that that you know follow us that traumatize our race for generations upon generations now what these people wrote is this uh, uh five things every query person at home and outside must do during the forthcoming national census let's you know me i'm reading it even from our republic uh, uh, page they reposted it and they are talking to our people of Ikwere clan. Ikwere is a clan, not an ethnic group. It's not a tribe. Ikwere is Igbo. The same way Ngwa, Ngwa is Igbo. The same way is a, although is a clan in Igbo, Igbo land. The same way Nsoka is a clan in Igbo land. The same way is Abriba, the same way Abriba is a clan in Igbo land. Because we speak different dialects. It doesn't mean that we are different people. How many times do we say do we say this? How how many times do we repeat this? How how do you think are you of a people? Now look, I say five things every equal person at home and outside must do during the forthcoming national census. Listen up. When asked the language you speak in the form, feel equere is Ariwa telling equere and equere. Oh, Chineke. Ndibo Ndona. Even uh, they took us as very big, huge idiots. I'm telling you. That I want you to be telling you. This division, divide and conquer, is you, practically what they love it. That is what they engage. Even if you ask. You can't speak Ikwere language. Make Ikwere solely your first language. This way you will increase the number of Ikwere language speakers and make it an important language. Do you see? What is Ikwere language? Tell me. The other time I think uh, they, they asked somebody, I think our brother that is doing good uh, good job. He will ask Ikwere, man, are you some idiots anyway? Are you Igbo? Say no, no. Then what are you? I'm Ikure. Okay, how? What do you call hand in Ikure? He say Aka. What do you call leg? Oko. What do you call woman? Wanyi. What do you call man? In your no, tell me Ikure language. Don't speak any other language. You say no. Yes, I'm speaking Ikure. Now, do you have a market days? How many market days you have Ikure have? He say four market days. Name them. Alpha. Unko. Eke. Ori. He said, no, are you speaking another language? Are you speaking Ikure? He said, no, this is Ikure I'm speaking. Now, what is your language, Ikure? Hey, you are watching stupidity, and stupidity is watching you. 
I don't know if my voice is cutting and coming. I don't know. Please, you let me know, because sometimes I see it in the in the in the indicator. Whether it's from my please indicate for me whether so that I will take precaution. Now, you will ask the person yeah, from Ukure, well, do you have a market days? He say yes. What is the how many market days? He say four. Name them. Ah, four. Unko. Okay. Say no, no. Speak Ikwere or don't speak any other. I'm speaking Ikwere. Oh, Ikwere is Alpha. Yes. Ikwere is Unko. Yes. Ikwere is Eke. Yes. Ikwere is Ori. Yes. Then why? Then what do you? What is the difference between Ikwere and Ibo? No, you know that is where once he asks them that question, they start to open hand. No, my papa tell me, you know, I'm not Ibo, but I'm Ikwere. And you are watching a grown-up person talking like a, a, an idiot. A, I don't even want to use F word. I'm on, I'm on air, please. Okay, thank you, Mars. Eh? Say my voice is coming out clear. Thank you. So, and you know, you see, what are you speaking? Uh, from but uh, you are speaking Ikwere. Say no. Speak a Ikure or don't speak any other language. Say I'm speaking my Ikure now. Now what is Ibo now? Because it's the same Ibo. He said no. My papa tell me say you know after creating River State we become River's man, and you know you are looking at an idiot, and you say who did it to us? There is a, a level of things. There is a you know a level something should go are you hearing me there should be a, a limit a limit a limit a limitation to something some sometimes even if your father your mother told you stories but when you grow you have common sense common sense will start telling you but look i'm speaking what i'm speaking is uh, this language yo. i'm hearing uh, with a man what he's speaking we are talking about person Somebody from Enugu. No, we're speaking the same thing. Only Allah, I'm hearing him. We are talking and communicating. But they say I'm not Igbo. I cannot understand. Do I, you cannot ask your father or your mother, do we have any other language apart from what we have? No, no, no. We have, but they say, you leave it like that. That is the same way religion blocks our knowledge, our brain. You know, I used to say it. Religion blocks our brain right from our right from tender age. You know, as a curious child, that you are growing, you start knowing something at the age of five, six years, you know, they ask too much questions. That is when they start being curious about their own, their surroundings. You will ask, a uh, child will ask his mo religious mother, uh, Mommy, why is it that the uh, sun is shining? And after it will go dark. Uh, what is it? The mother said, no, 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 don't ask. It's God that created it like that now. Don't you know that? You, This kind of things is God. It's the way God made it. So do not ask God the question, okay? You are questioning this is you are questioning God. So you want God to beat you? Say, hey, no, 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 I don't, mommy, I don't want God. God is that which person in heaven. You see, up. You see, he said, okay, you have shut down that child's knowledge or, or curiosity to understand more. He may, he may be going, he will carry it outside. If he's talking with his um, fellow children, they ask the same question. Say, uh, why is the sun uh, not sh uh, shining in, in uh, uh, shining and during the daytime and in the night, no more sun? He will say, no, I asked my mother. Is the way God talking to don't, don't Don't talk again before you want God to kill us. And the children will grow like that. I say the colonizers put us in a very miserable way, in a, in a situation that is piteous. That is why we are suffering. Are you hearing me? We don't pity ourselves here. I need to so much in a keba. But do you know that an enlightened family, if their child that is growing, if he ask them, he will tell them, ah, uh, this is how nature is, but there is a cause to it. This this world is rotating. 
like a ball he's rotating now the sun is here static if he rotate like this, he will try to explain to the child now that explanation will bring more questions to the child's brain he will even become more interested in knowing more the more he grow the more he become fascinated before you know he will start making researches so what this my father told me now why he confuses me but let me see how before you know you have created a scientist a natural scientist right from the family because of simple question but you don't know but uh, they just say no 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 don't talk god created it like that and your brain that uh, frontal lobe be shot permanently so everything is god you wake up to pray you wake up to go anywhere you pray uh, let us pray is what we teach is what we experience i experience it sometimes i want you know time to revive and see if i have power to reverse back time they killed us with religion you want to go outside early in the morning everybody will gather you will pray so everything is god that do it go go and come safely is god uh, uh, you are eating, you, know, you pray so that uh, it's God that we do it. So, you we now train our children to put the responsibility that you be human being onto an unseen spirit. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why is it so? That is the, the starting point of our problems. Are you hearing me? That is the starting point of our failures. It is we carry every responsibility to god right from childhood we train our children like that oh let us pray everything let us pray any slightest thing let us pray hey, wait, 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 let us pray you are praying to who for goodness sake you are praying to who why if you pray 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 why wouldn't they the child we now see the solution to every problem is god so you have shut down the medulla oblongata frontal lobe of that child destroyed i know i can see that why why shouldn't we why should we talk about religion if we, if we bring a, a, a division so which kind of divisions are we not for goodness sake when we are we have destroyed our families we have destroyed our future generations which believe 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 let us pray you want to eat let us pray you want to go out inside car let us pray is god that is in, in in control of everything therefore government is relegated at the background that no person cares about government are you are telling me that is the best way you are telling me that is the best way to train a child isn't it uh, it's God that uh, make you uh, you want to pass an exam you pray you want to uh, uh, do this drink water you pray you want uh, electric electricity to be given to to us let never bring light let us pray and the child is learning that is how we grew up and that is why we are entangled into a very mysterious mess that is very difficult for for us to come out what we are doing is very deep before god and man what we are doing it is very deep removing st stupidity that has been ingrained right from childhood right from we suck it in the breast we it's not easy it's not easy eh? <laughs> i know some even of my family members they very much because of the i don't care and now uh, we're talking like this why because uh, the, but the the bottom line is when they reason they say nah, here in a cool way, Joko, but what what do we do here we hear the reason how do we change it we need to unlearn and relearn we have learned nonsense the colonial legacy still remains we suck it on the, from from the breast we sleep it we go toilet on it we we in short we are swimming in the aquarium in the farmland of the colonial legacy are you hearing me now let me continue about the census now they are advising the query people <laughs> on the oncoming census which they want to conduct just quickly as they you know what they used to do in the north they used to count them 
But do you remember I used to say this? I think I have all those. Uh, to find it, I store all those programs. Any program I make, I store it in a hard disk. Right from the first day I started broadcasting. It will be in my archive. The first time before uh, 2015, before Buhari took over power, when you go to Wikipedia, Encyclopedia in Google, you type population of Fulani, they will tell you less than 1.5% of Nigeria population. Buhari took over power and uh, about um, 2018, after three four years type in five it become five percent of nigeria population now i will check i never check now maybe going to six the, the i mean six percent maybe because they are updating the, the issue is this our people Ndibu, that call themselves intellectual that should be doing something people that be, should be that should be caring for our collective interest in every way they don't care about all these updates. The more they upgrade, they propagate the false population, full and population, they decrease ego. That's why here they are telling you, I say Ariwa, Ariwa group. They are telling you, people, is your language or is it? He say, even if you speak Ikure language, make sure you could make even if you can't speak Ikure language. I'm sorry. Make sure solely you are first. Make Ikure solely your first language. This way you will increase the number of Ikure language speakers and make it an important language. At the first sight, the so-called Ikure people that are foolish enough will be seeing it as good advice. They don't know that they are divided, divide and rule. They are cutting evils into into piecemeal. One of the worst heinous crimes of Ohanese and Dibu is what? Is allowing the caliphate, allowing Nigeria government to divide the Igbo, Igbos, Igbo, Igbo people, Igbo communities and put some in the north, put some in the, you know, now, anytime you talk about Igbo, they say hey, five eastern states only, five south eastern states, Anambra, Imo, Ebony, eh, 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 Enugu, eh, eh, you count only five states nothing more the more they are they they, they divide us into piecemeal because they want to make us insignificant in nigeria before you know it the population they will put the population of full and more than Igbo, and they will say now the only the three major major tribes in nigeria is a full and house yoruba finish Igbos will be relegated who cares do they care? The answer is none. Nobody cares because it is a collective interest. So nobody cares. What every what evil men want is uh, what they care for is their pro their private stomach, their family. Now nah, waiting, now nah, waiting. In one go suffer for I beg, waiting, waiting. It not concern me. But tomorrow it will concern you and your generation. You don't know. Oh, ye foolish people. It will concern you. Even updates on on cyclopedia in Google in order to uh, uh, propagate more on evil. Nobody, all this, uh, no, 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 they don't care. What matters to them is uh, like chairman that to be called as a BBC, this and that. Use it to do something, go into and be firing as the full and are paying. They are firing up, increasing their number only on papers. <laughs> now they are number two, they say five things equate you, equate person at home or outside must do during the forthcoming national census number two he say for those who don't do not understand english help them to state or feel equally solely do you now you ask why is this thing so important to Ariwa that they share it is there, there, you know why is it important to them why why is it important to Ariwa? to uh, give advice to our equal Igbo, 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 Igbo. Uh, that uh, they should feel equally, no, don't feel equal language, you feel equally, so that you people will be significant. 
once you start asking this question but uh, this are the one that is uh, telling me this why is it important to them now they say also promoting someone's uh, else language ultimately relegates yours what is somebody else language you what they are speaking they speak i understand the query man more than the query person more than a, a if a unsoka person even some part of abreba if they start speaking their dialect Igbo dialect i will not understand nothing but the query person let them speak i have been listening to i have if i saw one equator one time one equator where are you calling uh, from equator i started speaking Igbo. i said i want you to be speaking equator thinking that they will be speaking another language he starts speaking Igbo for me direct i said no speak that you are interior he says what he's speaking to me now i said then why are you people exempting yourself that you are not Igbo? what is happening is this not stupidity he started laughing he started laughing he don't know what to talk my papa say now so we get uh, they raise us up and you start asking what is this why why do why does ariwa 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 group now take it as a duty in order to educate equities no they, so they love you <laughs> hey, chileke, hey. hey oh uh we are we, if not for ipob we are gone no? before god and man he said if they ask you number three if they ask you for your tribe ethnic group say equity do you see um, the, the way they come and bring problem in a family that is what Ariwa group no, what is the advice in them so to raise rebellions among brothers so that we we'll be fighting each other no i'm not able i mean I'm not, uh, that's what they did after the war uh no knowledge of um, politics is very good you know i used to clap for the full, full and i admire them they have the their political juggernauts whether you know somebody we, we always we, uh, used to say that i'm promoting them no no we say it as it is reality i'm not promoting them you don't underestimate your enemies you we have been underestimating them to our period we are dying slowly telling uh no, telling ourselves that uh, they, are on, they are on the back coming they are hey the back coming they don't know anything you don't know that they are masters in politics that we are the foolish back coming people until we start understanding ourselves and that then you know when you like uh, somebody uh, told me he said if i uh, if you do serv servant servitude a boy, boy in onisha when he was doing the first day he went to market with his ogre the first uh uh this thing, uh, uh, uh admonition the first education his ogre gave to him is this if you are in this shop any person that comes here he want to buy this he want to buy that he's asking question is as long as he come here and start interacting with you put it in your head that this person is a criminal is a thief just so that your eye will be open that is the thing but when you mean that is what we should have been, that is why i'm telling i admire these people it's not i'm praising them the same admonition that people that re people receives in a why doing boy boy in Indonesia? because if you if you underrate the person he will surprise you that is what we did nandi ama anything nandi i got a book in i may have a leg in her now watching it because you can say them something what they want to change you think i am i'm how someone we get a contract from the federal government contract of 10 billion naira to supply something in that 10 billion naira i'm just giving you example 10 billion naira contract either for building of one thing or the other or to supply something now he will subcontract it call a yoruba person uh, that is his friend subcontract it to him because he don't know anything about it he will subcontract it to the yoruba man and uh, the yoruba man will charge uh, two billion naira i'm just giving you an example now that two billion naira, the, the house man or the full animal 
the eight billion is taken. He said he has uh, that one is not doing anything. He just he has pocketed it. Oh. Listen, oh, that's how Nigeria is. He will subcontract it to a Yoruba man. The Yoruba man will charge it two billion. Say he know this. He is a master in it. He okay. And someone will say, yeah, wow, well, okay, okay, okay. No problem. Now do it. You can do it well, yes. Yoruba man now we go and look for the real slave, Yoruba man, to do the work. The person that we die inside, the, that we know how to do the work 100%. He will go and subcontract it, start talking about with the Yoruba man. The Yoruba man will tell him uh, 200 million naira. Yoruba man will say, ah, Omo Ibo, you love money too much. What it be 200 naira? Uh, 200 million. 200 million too much now. Uh -uh. Okay, what it be my share? He said, okay, Olga, uh, you know, you know this is the work. I go do them very well. You will see. Uh, this and that. Uh, you will give me uh, for you. Take 50 million. Now, uh, I will give you, uh, I will do it 150 million. Your mama will say, okay, no problem. You know, you give it to me, but we write 200 million. He said, okay. He don't know that Yoruba person have taken 1.5 billion. Free of charge. Free of charge. Ibo man no news. <laughs> That's the situation we are in Nigeria. Ibo man now we go and uh, be, that, that is try to satisfy. He will do the job, supply everything, even work, work over time. Call people after spending Paying the people who do doing the job correctly, maybe his own gain there will be, for example, fifty million naira. With that fifty million naira, eh, he will come out on 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 uh, 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 or maybe his friend. He will uh, 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 one million naira. Even uh, uh, the European man will be laughing at him. But he will be answering him, sa, 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 sa. He don't know that uh, Yoruba have 1.5 billion and 50 million free of charge. How some man that is their chief that they didn't know have collected 8 billion for doing nothing. Ibo man, the, you know the lower, the, the pyramid, the way it goes. Now Ibo man will be at the lowest end. But he will post more. Before you know, after 50 million, he will use um, 15 or 20 million go buy car one night to kumbo push right now listen now i need to call for my hey now oh you like it that day we're guessing now yeah but i have become we are asked the people that are they are there they have they don't even make noise they took one thousand times what you have there and they didn't do nothing that is how nigeria is programmed now let me go on to number four what uh, the Ariwa Republic is telling is reposting what sharing what they posted about to Ikwere. Five things Ikwere at home and outside must do during the forthcoming national census. Number four, he said, even if you live in any other city in Nigeria or know how to speak any other language outside your native tongue, don't mention or fill it in your forms. Just leave it at Ikwere. Now, the question you should ask yourself. Ask the Ari Wama, Olga, so why do you, you love us so much, right? <laughs> what is your intention of telling me, telling us this? What is your intention of advising me to be my own? No? <laughs> now, he said, he said, okay, number five, if they ask you for another address, give your address. As Eba, Omagwa, Isiopu, Ozuab, Ozuba, Choba, Mboba, Rumu Kalibo, Rumu Kiwu, this and that. Make sure it is your village. Give your family, have family house address in your village, even if you have never been there. Don't give them your address elsewhere in Lagos, UK, Texas, Canada, this and that. If you don't know the right address in your village, just take your village name. For example, behind the Akbo Ancestral Hall, this is about town Obio, Akbo, Obi Akbo, LGA. <laughs> he said, please do it for us, for Ikwere. Since this is very important, don't fail in Uruha Nation. They are 
that is how they created Willing's Minority Commission. Our people are not knowledgeable when it comes to politics. I, I continue saying it. And you know, I was saying. Now, uh, uh, after the war, our people had the properties everywhere in Nigeria before the war. Now, when they kill them, they run back. After the war, they went back to the north. They gave them their properties, their house property, their uh, you know landed properties in the north. Cool. Even in some part of the west, they gave it to them. Do you know what they do? Do you know what they did? The caliphate went behind and engineered our brother, our king, our own blood. He query. Tell them. We wanna no give a lot. We wanna take their properties. Remove yourself from Igbo. They are, you people are not Igbo. Kill their property. Take them. They can't do nothing. We will support you from behind. No problem. We will support you. Okay. If these people are knowledgeable, they will say no. No, we cannot do it to our own blood. No, 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 no. They suffer for it. No problem. Oh, and they don't ask them but you that is telling us why didn't you seize their own properties in your land do you know what they did they knock our heads together so that we'll be you know this uh, uh, complex we make them remove themselves say we are no more evil <laughs> are you hearing me so that we'll be fighting forever but we have known all these things are bygone we have known all these things are you hearing me Whereas they, they stay outside as a peacemaker. And they will come and say, Ah, you see, not be our brothers. We give you your property so in the north. We, you that is calling us names. You see how good we are. But is it not your brothers that sees your property? But it's them that engineer them. But these our brothers are foolish by accepting it. That is the reality. Is it not the same thing I used to talk about them? Um, uh, 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 like somebody like a hope that they impose in him state. The caliphate told him, he, Can you do what we want you to do? He said, I can do. His greed don't I blinded him. Now they impose him on us, on him. If it is it, the, the, the blame, clearly lies on him because normally he's supposed to do what Jonathan did, the good luck Jonathan did in our in our sort of can say, No, the blood of my people my political ambition does not merit the blood of my people so because i know that if you impose me there i can be there oh, but blood will flow so i don't i don't i don't want there they will see him as reasonable you understand but he foolishly accepted do you see do you see the diff do you see the problem he foolishly accepted knowing fully well that it will bring a problem he accepted but if it is in Asorok, for example he himself uh, is a uh, fourth or third position you know he can't do nothing look at good luck jonathan in 2015 what, what happened before even result he said no my political ambition did not merit the blood of nigerians so i surrender but just tell me if he is a governorship candidate, an incumbent governor in Bayasa, that his brother say he will, he, will, he say all of us will die here. Everybody, uh, that is you know the primitivity in our people because we are only powerful against ourselves. When it comes to foreigner, we become weak as water, <laughs> uh, playing gentle. No, no, we don't want to. Uh, we don't want the blood to flow. So. Good luck, Kukuku. He just quietly stepped down and congratulated Buhari. No, he, he's a gentleman. But let it be a governorship a tussle in his hometown. There you will see his eye. He don't, he, that time, his political ambition we merit the blood of everybody. Do you see how foolish our people are? We are not wise. His hype mising and the canon started opening our brains, our our eyes, and we are now starting to be started to be wise. Once you're in IPOB, once you are a listener, a, a you know a student of Radio Biafra, you become wise. Wisdom, you don't you don't get it in school. You know that you don't get it in school. Are you hearing me? So this is 
this is what the Ariwa is asking. He tell them, tell his they love Ikure, <laughs> but they have all your blocks. Ikure man, where are where is your all your block? <laughs> are you hearing me? Now, as uh, our brother sent to me, yes, yes, you are right. Full of the population uh, before. Before there is about seven point six million, but today is fifteen point something million. Six point yes, you see six point six percent. I saw it before before two thousand and fifteen. It was less than one point five percent, which is not up to two million even in Nigeria. But today they have don't do you do you see do you see that they are they are walking everywhere? It, once you open, you say, "Go see Google." Now he's there in Google. See, uh, the population of Fulani, now, they are coming. Before you know it, before ten years, they will tell, they will, they will write in Google that now Fulani has uh, surpassed uh, Biafra. You know, they say Igbo people every time they say uh, uh, almost four, or, uh, more than forty million every time, right from time in Memoria, the same number. Uh, no, we not increase because we don't have concerned people people are Igbos we are not concerned our, our, of our collective interest what matters is what we are going to get and uh, be making a uh, show that's why all of us are perishing that's it and we are perishing until a time comes until we start putting heads together and the time is now that is what IPOB is for if this thing I think even I will postpone my religious uh, program honestly speaking because I have many things to talk there but I have many things to, to talk there it will it will merit time I don't know why this has taken my time but it is worth it look at Ariwa Ari, they are just begging inquiry people don't talk and say your, your, your language is equal. Don't feel any other thing. But can I surprise you? Let me tell you. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know that uh, on, on papers, officially, Nigeria has 371 ethnic groups? Nigeria. Nigeria. But the, I counted it and counted it again. More than three out of that 371 ethnic groups, more than 300 is from the north. Oh, Chineke. Hey, hey, baby, ignorance is a killer. I say more than 300 among 371 ethnic groups is from the north. Notwithstanding that, even in, in our southeast, in our east, let me call in our east, in Biafra land, they put even clans, clans. Ogoni as a as an ethnic group, which is also you. I no matter how they divided it, more than 300, 300 out of three hundred and seventy one is from the north. Then others are in the south, including Yoruba side. Do you see that? But they will not tell, look at how they are telling you to equalize divide. Let me tell you, they don't tell even there are people in the north. They don't give them this advice. He said, they tell you, no, 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 you are house and full of new. Don't feel, you, are, you are speaking house, just feel house. Who is the civil who? Who is the foolish person? Is it not we? Is it not the same way they, they are using uh, yet, yet some week eh, in Abuja today? To deal with his own people. He said, the night say, I'm not evil. Tomorrow we come now, stop crying, begging. No, I'm evil man. No, you know, it's this, I know it's politics now. Choku, poor yok. That is how they use our people against our people. Very myopic set of human beings. They, you, you, you think you can grow more than your race? You are nothing unless we are something. We, we, we. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you. In the north, there are many, many tribes. But many people don't know. Do you know that uh, Tafawa Belewa? Tafawa Belewa. That you are hearing the first uh, prime minister of Nigeria, Tafawa Abubakasa Abubaka Tafawa Belewa. He was given a, 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 a night oh, in, in London. That's why they call him Sa Ahmad Belosa Al Tafawa Belewa. They don't care about religion. You know. What matters to them is the person they will use. Even they didn't give uh, uh, Azikiwe anything. 
my England. Is these people they sir? Do you think that when they put sir, do you think it's uh, nothing? Lordship, na London, Do you know that Abu Bakatafawa Belewa? Do you know that he is not a, an Aosa man? Do you know that? He is from a tribe they call Gere tribe. Gere. G-E-A-R-E. -E, Gere ethnicity. He's not Aosa. But uh, all of us believe he is an Aosa man. No, he's not an Aosa. He is from Gere. Gere, Gere. He, you know, in Bauchi State. Do you know that? His father is a uh, Yakubu. Yakubu Danzala from Gere ethnicity. And that Gere is going into extinct because they are assimilating and absorbing every other tribe as a Hausa in the north. Are you hearing me? If that is the reality. Now, Fulani, let me tell you the, the Fulani sophisticated politics. They left only language for Hausas to make them feel that they are human beings but they are in charge are you hearing me Fulani is a perfect colonizer they leave them just like i say as i said they remove them from their natural habitats put them in their in their farmer uh, i mean uh, farmer's aquarium and leave the fish to be moving around thinking that he's still in his natural habitat they allow them left their language house but they are the lord they are in charge the same way they gave africa flag independence we thought that we are ruling ourselves oh, we are in democracy we are choosing our leaders no the europeans are in charge we are in a natural aquarium i mean in a artificial aquarium uh, thinking that we are still swimming in the river in the river no <laughs> that is uh, that is the truth so uh, i put up um, i mean it's not an outside person never. never but we call him Aosa because they fully they are colonialists they assimilate they assimilate any other any other ethnicity to the extent even people in Benue speak Aosa. Don't do, do you ask don't you answer us why? This uh, instruction they are given to Ikwere by the uh, uh, I mean the Ariwa Ariwa group. Okay. Do you think that they will tell their their group or their other ethnicities in the north? You no, know, don't feel Aosa or feel anything, feel your uh, this, but we are telling them. We are telling them the whole northerners, the indigenous people of the north. We are telling you people. We are telling you people in order to do what? To defend your ethnicity. Let me come. Just hold on. I will bring all this some of the names of these ethnic groups in nigeria i'll bring it you will see, you will see. i say i counted them out of 371 no, more than 300 is from the north but they don't take britain come and say ah uh, um uh, you know we love you people in the east so we want to defend you uh, you are minority uh, there is a, 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 a threat from Ibos, so we protect you. And you ask them, what is the threat? Why don't you protect? Look at where Fulani is openly be, be ransacking indigenous people in the in the north. Britain don't they don't, they don't care. For you to understand that there is something, there is something imminent. <laughs> there is something hidden, hidden, heavy hidden agenda against us. We need to fight. We need to continue fighting. Otherwise, let me tell you what we are fighting is for survival. Oh. We are not fighting to take another person's property. Oh. We are fighting for our own survival. Are you hearing me?
that is what the restoration of Biafra is all about for our survival because we cannot survive in the not in the artificial farm British farm we call Nigeria it's, it's not natural for us they are making sure to you know to slaughter us all to assimilate us in their artificial farm but we cannot agree you have ethnicities tribes in the north more than more than anything you have a chipper the Achipa tribe in Kebi state you have a dara kaduna kaduna uh, niger you have a, a alpha day yobe you have a fizere plateau you have a afo or eloi uh, nasarawa many of them many of them alago nasarawa you have Amo Plateau. You have uh, Atiyap Kaduna. You have uh, Ayoka in Jikawa State. Are you hearing me? You have Ayu Kaduna. You ha have you had all these tribes before? But whenever they talk about tribe in Nigeria, you say how many tribes in there? Name some tribes in Nigeria. You say Efik, Ibo, uh, Ikwere. Uh, these are not even tribes. Some are clans. You don't know any other thing. Edo, Ejo, Ekala. These are, you know, you don't know anything about the North. Because this is the information they put out there for us to continue consuming. We continue consuming. I say, IPOB opened my eyes about the world order. I am telling you, whatever the world wants to drive in, the West now they continue dishing it out look at i i say events that took place these few days even a marvel me make me i start i start shaking i say so this is how these people are highly hypocritical what happened bef between iran and israel they no longer talk about israel bombing uh, killing Iranian citizens in in a in, in Iranian consulate in Syria in another country, and is, do you know that it is against international charter, United Nations charter? When you invade a, an embassy, a consulate of a country in any place in the world, it means invading their sovereignty. Are you hearing me? That's why any person they pursue now, he go, he run into. A foreign embassy in that land, no, but they cannot go there to look at Julian Assange. Did they go to invade him? No, the answer is no, because you they have to respect the international pact, the United Nations Charter on Protection of Consulates. It is like the territory of that country. But what they are speaking, you hear all these politicians in uh, Western politicians in Sky News, in uh, CNN, in uh, they don't talk about what is uh, the bomb. No, they start, they, you know, the way they increase the volume. Oh, Iran will uh, use uh, three, more than 300 drones and ballistic missiles, and it's a massive attack. I say, but uh, hey, hey, no person talks about it, and they continue pushing this, continue pushing this until people, little by little, in your subconscious you start accepting their message subconsciously you start accepting it and say you start blaming the other person or the other people say no why do you do? without understanding that look these people provoked it look at what they did had they been even you know how many times is i'm not supporting anybody but i'm talking on international treaties and respect to law people that are telling you that we have to respect the law this and that, but they are hypocrites in this world that is why i look at this world i say there is no single justice no single justice any person justice or no justice or conscience is for the people to control the poor people all this people, anything they want they get it without without uh, whether it means massacre they use their media to achieve it are you hearing me you know from time to time they can use proxies no problem it's a cold war it's a tricky war no person will uh, how many times they assassinate uh, maybe iranian scientists in uh, mecca in saudi arabia they assassinated him there is no proof that one no person no no problem it's allowed in international politics 
uh, uh, youth, youth, if you have power, you go and retaliate uh, secretly without proof. After all, during the Cold War, between the Soviet Union and the West, many things happen, many proxies. But they told themselves they have a pact that we shall never fight an open war. But if you know how to trick, the trick master, trick star, bring out your style, no problem. We can accept that. But let us not they agree not to disagree or they disagree to agree that they should never fight open war because fighting open war among themselves is a uh, is spell doom to the world they will use their uh, their nuclear weapons everybody knows it that's why they are using proxies they can use a uh, uh, terrorist attack this side this side will revenge is allowed as long as there is no proof pinned to you they will laugh. It's their, their t it's, uh, uh, you know, intelligent game. It's allowed. But when you go openly to bomb because you want, you have to do it, and you claim responsibility, it's uh, you. Everybody knows it. You have no now there. You have failed. It's no more cold war. This is open war. But they are not talking it like this. Here yeah, I say, I look at you. And I anything. The Western media says now, if you want to survive, don't ever, don't ever accept, don't ever listen. Because they have been dealing with us. That is how they drove their religion into our skulls, telling us to hate our things, telling us that our ways are evil, our ancestors are evil. We accepted it. Oh, they are, they are, they are, they are, I'm telling you. They are, they are, they are, I want to, you know, my my blood pressure rises. They are, they are and it's stuck in our brain. It's stuck in our life. It becomes our way of life. We started accepting it that look and the savior, the savior comes from a white place. Is him that we start agreeing something that is natural to us. I know now. They make it a cooking question. So I need more religion. Discarding our own thing. Discarding our own thing. Telling ourselves, they, they, they convince. They, do you know what it took them? To, not even they didn't. Con, they, they impose on us that our, everything concerning us is evil. We are talking about the lives of Mongo Park uh, the, and the Landa brothers. That oh, now we are because our eyes are now open. We are matured enough to reason. Now, when it comes to religion, why can't we reason? This is why. You know, the caliphate is, see, look at, they are seen also as a people that uh, don't know nothing. That way they should, they, uh, they should colonize us. When they, when they divide us into piecemeal, what would they do? They swallow us all, one by one. They will swallow us one by one. Do you know why our, our people self in 1967? 66, she said, we are able to rise up to fight. You know the reason? Uh, because uh, they killed us everywhere. Do you know that that is a mistake they will never do again? Now, they devise another, a more potent way of swallowing us. Piecemeal by piecemeal. Don't you see? There is no more massive uh, rioting that uh, uh, in every place in the north that uh, targets Igbo, Igbo traders or Igbo properties. No. Instead, it happens one place at a time, others will keep quiet. Another time, it will happen in Bauchi. Others will in. It's uh, unlike before. Before, before. Anything that starts, even in Plato, you will spread. Oh, they start, they don't even ask questions. They start killing Igbos everywhere. Riots everywhere. And people will start running, coming back home. Now, in 1966, they did it. Today, even in the West, Europe has started also the same thing. That is the thing that drove our people to have the audacity and say, oh boy, let us go suicide. Instead, even if it is a uh, die, let us die because we are dying. There is nothing we can do. They, in, many people are saying that uh, some 
mischievous people are saying that Ojuku caused the war. Ojuku didn't even want the war. He wanted to avoid the war. That is why he negotiated with Gowon and his friends in the north, in Emias in the north, and convinced our people. He said, no, everything is okay. Do they talk about it? Hypocrites everywhere. And the people are walking. Do they talk about it? The answer is no. Do you ask them? You cannot ask them because you don't know. You don't study history, do you? Ojuku negotiated after the first wave of pogrom that killed hundreds of thousands of our people. Ojuku said, okay, say, okay, I don't want anything. He started negotiating frantically with Gawon and the emirs of the north. And they assure him that, okay, it's over, no problem. That they have rendered the end their people, no problem. He didn't know that it's a trap. Ojuku have to announce on radio and convince our people that if you want to go to the north, it's free everywhere, it's okay. Now, please, let us forgive and forget. You know, as normal Igbo man, religious man. Uh, let us forgive and forget. Or everybody go. Our people Nupuku again. The second time. Is that second time that they slaughtered worst? When the people that came back, our people gather and force to you could say, if you don't declare Biafra, if you don't take us out of Nigeria, we are going to look for somebody that will replace you and put him there and pursue you from that place. If you're a coward. Oh, you could tell them, say, look, if we fight war, it's not good, though. If they defeat us, we become slaves or those that is they say we don't uh, we you want us to be killed, they gather no juku, they want to shred him into pieces. People will not tell you this. Mischievous set of people, they are lying against somebody that died. Very, very hypocritical, evil set of people. They don't tell you this. It is our people. Those the population gathered and imposed in Ojuku and said, Look, we we must take us because we are no more safe. Anywhere we are no more safe. And do you know why our people are able to do that? Have the mind to do that? Because there is no more any safe place for them. Had it been Lagos they didn't kill them, all of them we run to Lagos from Kaduna Kanu. No problem. At least I'm going to my apartment. And I saw our people be. But it was hot everywhere. And let me tell you, what I'm telling you is what is happening. The Nigeria Caliphate now realized that that is a mistake they made. So now what they are doing is dividing us into piecemeal and be swallowing us little by little as they are driving in their agenda. They killed some people in Bauchi after the Bora riot somewhere, the Bora, the, the Bora somewhere. They destroyed our properties. Before he enters another place, they cool down. The governors and emirs we could and say, oh yeah, Ibo, yeah, no problem. Those that die, don't worry. And we do like babies. You will slap him immediately, cry, cry. You carry biscuits, you give him to him. I say, ah, take now. No, evil man will say, ah, he loves us. Yeah, but what we are saying is this, you know, our property, the damage. And the governor said, don't worry, I will take care of it. Don't worry. Ah, uh -uh, we are all one Nigeria. I say, okay. I thank you. You see, bring evil man to address a, 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 a commissioner. Oh, no, my only. I thank you, sir, for even coming. You know, I lost my my, my my two siblings. They killed him and destroyed my property. But you are a very good man. I thank you for even listening, for coming here to talk to us. I thank you very much. I am I am here in Kaduna. He's a good people you are. We are in Kano. He's a good people. The man who are uh, here in Kanisi. Or the happy that even Governor Metromaka, very primitive set of people now my badge that is the new system they have devised they will not come like 1966 killing us everywhere no no they will kill here before you know, they, will, they have reduced that population they cool down they have uh, cleared the i mean the the the, the, uh, the properties Burn down the properties of someone. Uh, before you know, everybody will say, say, okay, don't worry, we'll take care of it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they will cool it down. Another day, it will happen in Zamfara. 
Another day they will burn our this in Lagos. Others will say, as long as Ibo man have a, a, a respite somewhere, he prefer to uh, to survive to live even come come deliver. This is a very bad mantra we need to remove from our men mentality. Very bad mantra. People that does this, they perish. They become assimilated. You know, uh, we die natural death like the Taino Taino uh, tribe in the Caribbean. They are extinct. People that are like this, that have no sense of politics, that have no sense of self-preservation. What matters to them is what individual. They, 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 they sentence us to individual survival. This is very, very evil, wicked and bad. We have to change our mentality, please. We have to change our mentality. Any person go if there is any uh, uh census any not angry somebody uh, somebody from uh, um somebody from a theap ethnic a theap tribe you have to don't feel don't feel the form and say house and no you are denying your identity right that uh, the day you say can i deny one house yes no 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 i'm from a theap I'm uh, Ayoka in Chikawa. It's my ethnicity. If they tell you fall and you say no, 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 I'm Ayoka. I am Ayu in uh, from Kaduna. Are you hearing me? I am Bambuko from Taraba State. Stop feeling that you are Hausa. But when you come out as a, 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 a as somebody from Banka in Bauchi State, when they call you Hausa man, you start being annoyed. But when you are feeling form of um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 population census census form. You say they tell you say you are outside. Just accept you are outside. You say okay, no problem. No, you are diminishing. You let me tell you, the population of Hausa they are increasing and Fulani. It is the population of the other indigenous ethnicities that are living out of ignorance denying the identity when it comes to where they have to stand and stand for their identity they say they 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 say they are house but they are not they they have their natural language house is what they teach them they taught them house my comrade that i used to brought he will come here i think monday he's from a gun tribe a gun i never even knew he told me he's a gun in Nasrawa, from Nasrawa state. But they speak Hausa naturally. They learn it. They, they impose them to learn Hausa. You must speak Hausa. Do you see? But these people, they will tell you that they are not domineering. It's Igbo domineering. Do we impose our language in our uh, 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 any any tribe? Oh. The misinformation, the hatred in Britain spread. I don't... This kind of hatred is evil against Igbos. They put on us something that is far, far. They, because they identify the Igbos as the only people that can rise up and save others. Now they pinpoint them in order to deal, deal with Igbos. But once they finish with Igbos, now every other one is uh, just <laughs> thank you for easy targets. <laughs> that is why they are doing this. Do you understand me? Do you know about the Basa tribe, Basa, in Kaduna, Kogi, in Niger State, Plateau? Even when I count, I didn't even count some Benue State, even some Kogi tribes, I don't count them. You understand? But they are more than 300 tri tri tribes, out of 371. Uh, but uh, whenever they talk about different tribes, they come to uh, 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 the East. Oh, is there? Oh, it makes everybody focus. Oh, there they have minorities. They are misinforming. Is misinformation or is misinformation? The same way they are misinforming the world to put into your head to to you hate one set of people. The people they hate is what you will hate. Their enemies will become their your enemies. That is the way they want us to be because we are in their farms. They try to do it to Mandela. In nineties, when Mandela come out, he came out. He went to America. They said, you know, they how they know how to prove to somebody now. 
uh, uh, Mandela, uh, 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 you say you're a Democrat, but you are dealing with uh, Palestinians, they are terrorists. Uh, they, why are you dealing with them? But you uh, say you are the most, uh, defending democracy. He answered that uh, idiot. He gave him, also, he gave him, he gave her, I think he's a way lady. He gave that journalist what she deserved. He said the highest mistake of the West, especially America, is to think that their enemy should be our enemies. Eh, that is, any person that is your, their enemy, they expect you, you have to be your enemy. Any person that is their friend, you must be your friend. That is nonsense. Which means, then why are you preaching democracy? You don't give me the right to choose. You are imposing on me, and you are the champion of democracy. To hell with this they are useless and hypocritical democracy, which they are using in keeping Africans down. Say democracy. Are we in charge? Are we electing our our president? The answer is no. What we are, what they are using us to do, uh, is just like um, window display, just to showcase that oh there is democracy, but uh, underneath they have chosen who they want to choose. <laughs> and they promote the person before you know whether they must put him there by hook or by crook didn't you hear didn't you see your crook or eye how obama installed buhari is he not obama obama amen when he was america's president president of america he installed buhari into power he cajoled the good luck and tell him hey obama used his campaign manager uh, you know, uh, Buhari used Obama's campaign manager from America. And before even the result come out, Obama called Jonathan and said, hey, I say you have to go down. Congratulate him, otherwise uh, 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 you will die in office. So. He, he threatened him direct. That's why he said, ah, uh, my political ambition, my the blood of Nigerians doesn't, he didn't merit my political ambition. He congratulated even before full results. That is democracy. Is that democracy? They are hypocrites everywhere. Hypocrites everywhere. Torturing our lives. So what am I trying to say? If you are a not an indigenous person or personnel or people, somebody from Baoshi in Niger State, from Baya in Adamawa, from Berum in Plateau, what of the uh, 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 Bobua in Taraba State? What about the Buduma in Borno State? The Bomboro in Bauchi? These are different tribes, but you call all of them out, they are not. They come to separate us. We, oh, Ibos, Ikwere, they say, no, say that you are not Ibo, you are Ikwere. Do you think they love you? Do you think why can't you listen? Say why is uh, so uh, uh, the the Fulani group? Not that they call not group. So they love me more than my brother. They want me to be in complete conflict with my brother, so that they will come to ginger me, sponsor me, uh, kill my brother, so that after after everything, they will take over everything, put me into slavery. <laughs> are you here don't, don't you know don't you know the way they are coming it is high time it is completely high time we understand the ways of these people it is a colonial legacy the way colon colonialists come the way they evade through different ways including religion they didn't bring us religion that they love us no it's just a way to keep on, you know, there is no way you, as a religious uh, zealot, that you will have a say in foreigners' religion. It's impossible. You can never be perfect. Others must be coming from above. Are you hearing me? Other, other, other must be coming from above. Uh, it, it, as we talk about belief which is an acceptance that something exists or is true especially 
won without proof. It is the mental acceptance of a claim as true. Now, every tradition and culture has its own belief system, synonymous with the people's origin and way of life. But imposing foreign belief is a way of control. That is what I want to bring out because I'll soon close and open the lines. Imposing foreign belief is a way of control and manipulation, which is colonization. It is better we continue that our natural belief system that no person has no foreign influence. Just as I was saying, in our land, we believe in Agu and it is working. It's a belief, but we are seeing it. Many of us experience it. You can stay, you have that, your natural talent, your Agu will just come into you and start, you will be building something. It happened to me as a kid. It happens to me, I tell you. You'll be building things, building things without an understanding. You didn't learn it in school, no. Had it been with it's not before you know, even the family will be saying now nah, one day. They will start de 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 delivering you, carrying you because in Agakpakara Dingo, everywhere in Pakara you take before you know it be start. It's Agu. That thing that is in you is trying to had it been it is not a foreign religious control. We will develop it. We will know how to manage this and develop it and use it to develop our country. Instead of, uh, you see many of our people that have this agu. Many have, uh, have been, you know, strangulated. Many are now into kidnapping. Because no development. Had it been, it is not about this uh, 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 Nigeria we are in. And the religion they put us into everything about you say, Yeah, is he? Hey, he's a mojo. Hey, chopoya. And I know one a bet here today. Where are we? Where are we? Any religion that comes from, oh, you know, abroad, it is meant to colonize you because it is not natural to you. You don't have a say. The indigenous people can never think of work towards innovating, modernizing, or changing any foreign imposed belief or myth. Any innovations or changing to the belief system must come from the origin. Do you see the reason why our indigenous culture is necessary? It's our natural habitat where we have command over it we can decide to innovate something out of it and we do don't you see how people from rome said something of blessing same sex that is taboo in our land you see people in our land because they are they swear allegiance to it they start de uh, defending it don't you see that they came to our land they impose our people our men to be celibate that it is a girl women to be also celibate that is, they don't marry they become unproductive in our society and you call them father is it right is it right they close all those generations all those ge because of foreign foreign tomorrow now maybe in the next uh, 20 years or in the next 50 years they can decide in Rome and say, okay, from today, uh, Reverend Father should be married. That time, they have relieved. What of those that they destroyed their generation? <laughs> Do you see? Because it's not natural to us, so we don't have any say. We don't have any. Ah, yes, you, mama, 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 and you must, you must, deliquate, uh, you must uh, calm down and continue. <laughs> because they pay. Who, he, who pays you? controls you you see do you see the work of foreign religion but if it is our own natural one who we don't have any we don't have any this in any problem do you see islam where islam is giving much problem is non-arab countries where it was imposed just watch the whole world watch them but the source where islam may it come from they are doing their thing even the islamatic is their thing is their natural culture they have taken it as their natural culture right from 68 i mean 7th century till today 
they fought for it but wherever they are fighting against all this look at Boko Haram look at everywhere in the other parts of the world it's where they are fighting for Islam but where is today Saudi Arabia can wake up and say no uh, women now they are giving them little little chance. it is their thing if they do it other places some some radical distance from uh, the origin we tell them no you are going against Islam but if they do it in their places they are telling you cannot command them do you see that if we have our natural culture our natural belief system no person can command us no person can control us from outside don't you see that control from outside is also part of colonization even if it takes religious uh, uh, dimension it's part of colonization don't you know that we must relinquish and remove ourselves from this colonial continuous colonial legacy i will i will speak another day about this because time has gone i think next saturday there will be a program it will be any other day we must continue because i have many things that i prepare to say on the religious issue but then another thing has said but we must continue i think i will go into a few minutes break so that when i come back i will open the lines so that people will start calling in please please do not go away i will be right back I will definitely be right back. Please, do not go away. I will be right back. Dear friends, return to farming, invest in agriculture. Have you ever paused to question the importance of self-sufficiency in food production, food self-sufficiency, or the ability of a nation to feed its own people from its own resources, plays a pivotal role in securing a country's future? It's more than just filling our bellies. It's about nourishing our economy, our workforce, and our independence. Imagine being at the mercy of external sources for your daily bread. It's like a constant game of tug of war at where your sustenance is the rope. Any moment the balance could tip and you'd be left scrambling for resources. This reliance could pose potential threats to national security and economic stability. Outsourcing our food needs puts us in a vulnerable position, susceptible to price hikes, supply chain disruptions, or even political manipulations. But let's flip the coin and look at the benefits of self-sufficiency in food production. Firstly, it empowers our economy. When we invest in agriculture, we're not just planting seeds in the soil, we're sowing the seeds of economic growth. The farm-to-table journey involves many hands, from farmers to transporters, from retailers to restaurateurs. Each link in this chain represents a job, a livelihood, a boost to our economy. Secondly, it ensures food security. By growing our own food, we can control the quality and quantity of our produce. We're also less likely to experience food shortages, ensuring that no one in our community goes to bed hungry. Lastly, it promotes sustainability. Agriculture done right can be a tool for environmental conservation, preserving our land's fertility for future generations. So you see, self-sufficiency in food production is not just a matter of pride. It's a matter of survival, of economic prosperity, and of national security. Understanding the importance of food self-sufficiency sets the stage for our discussion on the call to action from IPOB. Recently, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, called on Biafrans to return to farming and invest heavily in agriculture. This is not just a call to action, but a clarion call for survival and self-sufficiency.
The world is on the brink of a food crisis, and Nigeria is no exception. An impending famine looms large, threatening to cast a dark shadow over the land. But here's the thing. Biafrans are not destined to be victims, but victors. IPOB, led by the indomitable Mazinam Dikanu, believes that Biafra has the means and the fertile lands to avert this impending danger. This call to action isn't just about planting seeds in the ground, but planting seeds of hope, resilience and self-reliance. And it's not just about farming, it's about creating an entire ecosystem that supports agriculture, from cash crops to animal husbandry. It's about building agricultural cottage industries that process and preserve agricultural products for export, turning Biafra into a powerhouse of agricultural productivity. So where do you come in? IPOB is appealing to all Biafran's philanthropists to support farmers in their communities. But this support doesn't only mean giving temporary food items. It means providing seedlings and other farming implements. It means encouraging and supporting farmers to go back to farming, to go back to the land that once provided for us all. And it's not just about the present, but about the future. IPOB is urging Biafran's to invest in agricultural research centers. Why? Because quality research and development is key to growing our native food products efficiently and sustainably. It's about learning how to fish, not just buying fish to eat. This call to action is not just about investing in agriculture, but also about investing in the future of Biafrans. It's about securing our food supply, about ensuring we are not left vulnerable. It's about taking control of our destiny, one seed at a time. Because at the end of the day, a nation that can feed itself is a nation that can stand tall and strong, no matter what comes its way. IPOB is not just calling for action, but also taking tangible steps to promote agriculture in Biafra. The indigenous people of Biafrans, or IPOB, is not simply sounding the horn for agricultural investment, but it's also actively participating in the drive. A key aspect of its involvement is the provision of high-quality seedlings to selected farmers for the planting season. By doing so, IPOB directly incentivizes farming, providing the necessary tools that allow farmers to produce bountiful and healthy crops. But the commitment of IPOB to agri- Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mars Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra Land. And we are here live and direct. Today is the 20th day of April 2024. Tata Bobo our lines are open, but before that, let me also continue reiterating on the call for IP. I mean, the IPOB call for our people to go back to farming. When we talk about farming, both animal farming, animal husbandry, all the culture, all the culture is using a small space. Now, technology has increased. You can use a small space, even if we are working. Because some people think, oh, again, uh, our call is only uh, go, go, oh yeah, stop or anything you are doing. Go back and start the farming night like that. If you are doing something, if you are working or you're a trader, you still have the opportunity of farming in your space. Because if this family have produced something, the other family produces. So sometimes China is like that because there are plenty. So each family, each apartment produces things. And uh, that's it. That's how you see Chinese exportation. It's plenty. So you can cultivate even your, your small space. You use a bag. Learn how to do all this farming. It's in YouTube. That phone you are carrying is not only for looking for content creation. It's not only for looking for listening to gossip in WhatsApp. You can use there to learn anything you want. I am telling you. That smartphone you have. So, that is what... Because they are bent on making sure that we depend... It is Nigeria policy. The policy is from Britain through Nigeria. For our region to be food dependent on others so that they can suffer us and kill us at will they will use food to bend us as they want 
they, they, don't you hear every time any slightest thing the northern Iowa group we said no we we block uh, food importation no more bringing food to the south don't you hear it several times don't it ring a bell in your ear that look now these people have agenda so let us start now is it when they happen you know there are things you from there you know their mentality they want you to continue looking for money 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 running around in the market you are buying in a month but the time will come if yeah, if you carry your millions of naira you go to market you don't see anything to buy you start cooking that money you will go house and and the boy take five million naira at a time put inside pot and cook when you cook it you and your children will eat the, at that time you will understand that that money is useless why do you think that uh, 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 France, England, Belgium, all this West, the West, they have gold reserve, something tangible? We are as Africans are interested in cash, cash, so you know, paper, paper. According to one report, to make hundred dollar, the cost of making one hundred dollar bill is less than ten cents. So you when you look at how many uh, kilos of gold or i mean how many uh, one kilo of gold costs how many maybe 40 something thousand uh, dollars now you check the real value you are buying it check it maybe it's not even up to 200 dollars it's just paper they give you paper you give them real reality and they are storing it that is the thing let us have reality reality is the food food we are producing so that even if without money you have our budget i could remember when we are small we have a young ban without money you go and nah, go now nah, you know have a, you go to the barn and take one yam and uh, cut it into pieces and cook use uh, oil then a red oil there you use red oil you put a uh, okay Nairia not good food. You don't have money, but you have food. But if you have money full everywhere, no food, it is the worst thing. That is why we encourage famine. Please let us go back to famine and encourage famine. Also, people in the diaspora, make sure that you are encouraging people on ground zero. To farm, invest, not only sending money for food, all these things, sending money for different expenses. It's tiresome. Invest on farming. That's it. Our lines are now open. And also, let me also say this. It's a public notice, which we have been saying. You see uh, the two individuals called the canon takano and the prince uh, emmanuel Kano. they are not ipob members so they are not authorized or ever been authorized to represent ipob at any given time you understand they have no authorization to speak for ipob anywhere also they they are not and have never been IPOB uh, members of IPOB DOS or IPOB leadership. Therefore, anyone or group dealing with them in the name of IPOB ESN are doing so to their own risk and detriment. These individuals are only siblings of Mazin Namdekano. They have nothing to do with IPOB, what we are doing. For your information, for the public, Anywhere if they come, they claim that their leadership no you are dealing with them at your own risk. You see, once IPOB have said it, <laughs> it's in the public domain. So if they come and tell you lie, this and that, that oh no, I want no leadership. Oh, they are only siblings of Mazin Namdekano. Anything you are dealing with them, deal with them as oh, they are siblings of Mazin Namdekano. Don't ever mention IPOB. It doesn't concern IPOB. Our lines are now open. It to be for one, it to be for armed. Our lines are now open. Our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, plus one, two, one, three, 
0208-628-6224. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus 61-405-142547. I repeat, plus 61-405-142547. Let me take the 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 caller is there but please hold on call on what's up let me go to caller on on direct line because he's paying please caller on direct line can you hear me call on direct line please go on hello do you have my call yes Marzi, go on please yeah thank you my machine is do um uh, this is still can't be a more uh and goes in maybe with your own arbo. I think this, what you're doing is definitely your strength and calling. Um, so, I don't know how you know about our mentality, especially in the war. I've uh, drawn a lot of parallels between black Americans in America and we, their friends in Nigeria. Um, the full of me people, they are like white people here. The way they control, they see things like from 1500 years. I remember when they started this program of promoting feminism among African Americans, and we're seeing the results today. And unfortunately, for me, when they divine there, that they will try to and that leads to a broken home and that leads to um, the collapse of the society and this comes from one of the uh, uh, powerful guy in history Marco Max. I don't know when I should speak it's where he said he's only a stupid and a useless man that would allow his enemy to educate his children or allow his enemy to feed him which means you have to be totally independent from your enemy and we should recognize that Western society is our mortal enemy. And in Nigeria, the Fulani oligarchy is our mortal enemy. So we can't be taking instructions or taking any advice from this, from this people because education is what molds our mentality. Your mentality is determines how you act, how you behave. And that is why it's difficult dealing with some of our so-called intellectuals. Now, I think our leader has studied this before and called them intellectuals because I don't care how what your PhD is and they ha it has no purpose to your own society. It's just useless. And somebody was asking that question and I finally found somebody who answered it. Why is it that Africans Nigerians in particular and Biafrans in particular, when they leave their society, they excel. They are the doctor of this, the researcher this, the fellow this. Because we lack that organizational ability to build and control our own. And again, boy, indefinitely, it may appear discrimination or racism, but build your own. But we cannot. I build something instead of supporting him. We start, you know, not not even encouraging. And that is why I think um I'm going to program again in the morning. I may encourage our so-called intellectuals to join us. The problem is that our educational system will let our enemies to educate us. England educated us. Therefore, you see a black body walking, but with a white mind. There is no way that his white inconcluded mind get that will do something benefit to his black society. Everything on him will always benefit the Western society. That's why we will learn the the um the their democracy but we cannot make it work for us we learn their religion but it cannot work for us because the wrong we took on the nature of other people 
instead of creating and building our own. It is not natural. It America, is not natural to us, so it can never work until we do our natural work. thing. We develop it. We do our that our natural thing that we are laughing, we are mocking. Oh, that uh, we develop it and continue there. Uh, that's when. Otherwise, yeah. all these other things you come. All that comes from above. All that must come up from above. So exactly. how can we it? Must go on. Uh, even in this country, all all kinds of ethnicities are ever. So my friend in India, India and where their own school. They China, they Korea, where their own school. And school will have the from kindergarten and primary level. They have created that foundation. You see him is working and speaking in American language, but inside him is a proper Chinese. Inside him is a proper Korean. Because they have laid that foundation for him. The same thing with Arabs. They have their own school, Hamar Control, like their neighborhood. But you know what happens? In the band in the show, G, I have because I am Muslim, I am Jack and Jen. I care. see the Somali, you see the in the some Nigerian Muslim, you see the Kenyan Muslim, you may get a gun and call yours, and then they discriminate against against yours. Oh, we are all Muslim. Your religion does not matter. What matters is your ethnicity first, your Biafraness first, your nationality before any religion. That's what other people do. So thank you very much. Unless all these so-called intellectuals, that's why when you question it your last time, you say, uh, Nigeria, yeah, what are we, how, what kind of government and what are we going to do Biafra, to separate Biafra, ourselves Biafra, from the West? Biafra, Biafra, what Nigeria, I if Biafra comes, I want to Nigeria, please. Yeah. Yeah. What I forgot to what I forgot to mention that time, oh boy. You know what I mean? I know about the girl was tonight. I really, I really don't trust us. Because all that work with that Western mentality can't get you a idea me being here. So anybody who's going to participate in their foreign government should be the Westernized, should be the Nigerianized, and should be the colonized. Well, I mean, we PhD or me, but I mean, we don't want you to bring that Western mentality because your mentality is corrupted by the colonizers. And some of us, depending on how long you go around, I will support putting a monetary censorship on all of us because we are too happy to serve the interests of the colonizers. The image of our of our of our colonizers and slave masters. Thank you. The war, the woman say. What we should understand is this: we cannot get it right until we become original. Like what our brother said, we find it very easy to go and start joining others. We can. We cannot build our own thing. Call it a uh, Igbo school. Be proud, you know, uh, you know, because we are, we we are. How do you say it? Uh, uh, complex inferiority complex. Uh, people that is blaming their ancestors, labeling their ancestors as evil, casting and binding them. How do you think that they will build something original? that come from the ancestors they reject everything how do you think that we shall succeed with this mentality how do you think that we can progress with this mentality is it possible let us tell ourselves the truth any religion that comes from outside and it becomes your mod modus operandi you are bound to follow command from above are you hearing me France is a Catholic country, but they divorced from taking orders from Rome. And it brought, he made uh, the Pope at that time to start a war with Napoleon Bonaparte. And Napoleon, I think, even arrested, uh, captured him. He, he doesn't care. It doesn't matter. 
if what we are doing now for example ipob you you bring um harvard university uh, deep, uh, i mean doctorate degree holders a cambridge so you yeah, come ahead this struggle how maybe she now am how working that uh, they will tell you that now they will tell she got time now you know they will quote for you that she got time and then she more day here now oh girl no na your name uh research on defending his thesis you know they will never bow down look at uh 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 burkina faso mali and niger who, who, who took over and had the audacity to challenge their colonial masters? Let me call them masters there. He said, young boys that doesn't care about it. You know, maybe you look at them, they don't even go to Harvard. Or, you know, they, they are young boys. Oh, they jaga jaga. They may hear revolution. They may hear jaga jaga. If you bring uh, the person that is trained in a in a in a way you know, by western education or you, or you will damage everything <laughs> are you hearing me he will damage he will scatter everything tell him to come and lead it he will scatter everything because you want to you don't want to you know upset his trainers you don't want to uh, you want to be diplomatic you know there is a way to do it yeah from there I'll scatter everything. But all these military boys, small small boys, Burkina Faso, before you know they continue developing their country. They don't care. <laughs> Bring uh, politicians that uh, have a seven seven uh, 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 doctorate degrees. How well, you know you don't have to do it like that. You have to be gentle. Talk to them like they, they put everybody into a continuous uh, slavery. They don't care. Colors, please. Sorry for wasting taking much time. Color on, on what's up? Can you hear me? Go on, please. You have been there since 14 minutes plus. Call on what's up, please. Go on. Okay, good evening, my dear. Yeah, what? Uh, I found what you call the ACM Italia. I greet, uh, thank you. I greet all their friends and the, I greet our leader, great leader, Mazin and the Kano. And his wife, the woman of 1929, she's here among the above women. We, 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 we appreciate her. We appreciate her. And uh, you see that thing you are talking now, we can never be anything than being original. That's why I said I love my people. Even though my people, we are passing through a lot, I still stand, I love Igbo. The great evil race, we must surface again because they thought, pretend they thought they have played us, they can do anything. I said it so sometime, I tweeted in the, in the Twitter, said that they pretend they use the world to fight us. But today, it's only the truth can stand the test of time. I am very grateful to Chuko Kika Biyama. So, like uh, i also appreciate our great our our dox who are doing the need for the chosen ones the ones are with sincerity and the pure of heart we appreciate you on what what you are doing doing for us so the decision the dox take concern on the agricultural part of it revolution is the best decision whatsoever. That's why I also tell some people sometimes that this IPOB you are seeing today is the voice of that 1960, 1967. We have referred uh, again, and we believe that by the special grace of God, tomorrow, up to this moment. We appreciate all of you. There's one thing I want to ask you, Mazi. In the world today and the whole continent or the whole country in the world, who make the name of the, all this great uh, country you hear today? Who make their name to be, to be, to, who make them to be known? That is what I want to ask you, please. What, what, what do you mean? Uh, you mean the countries? today like america 
like France. Yes, you know like America and the Europe, uh, the, like all these European, um, England as well, and all of them, the Russians. Man, they, they made, they made, they worked it by themselves. So they didn't come and maybe uh, uh, somebody from above say no. From today, England, you be take many of all these countries. Man, you are in Italy. Yeah. Yes. They pass through a lot. Building a country, building a nation is a process for for your information. That's why when yes. I listen to some of our people doing things with sentiment, no name can let me people fought in Europe wars. We have fought to a wanted to massacre. Germany, you see, the gods, they 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 we are in a in the thirty years of thirty years war in Germany. They wanted to slaughter themselves out of extinction. I am telling you. So you see that they built themselves. <laughs> they, you know, these people they don't tolerate things that we tolerate. For your information, they built themselves. They pass through processes. Sometimes they rise up. The people will rise up against a tyrant, and it will start to war. They massacre war. Wars we have fought in Europe more than in Africa. Wars we have fought in Europe more than in Africa. What brought down or even helped in bringing down war in Europe is when they started traveling out. Now the wars that should be fought in their land, now they export it outside. That is why even in Africa, in dividing in taking shares of africa i mean because of the berlin conference though they divided they shared africa but it was not palatable france was attacking britain in, in africa not no more in european mainland in africa so the thing they have to they exported their their criminals their bad bad people to their colonies in america america is a yesterday country now europeans eh? Europeans, they slow, it's a, so it's a process. When you you do you see, let me give you an example. You see the sanctions. Uh, so North Korea is suffering. How many years today? How many yes. decades? What of Iran? They have been suffering from sanctions. Uh, do you help them? Do you do you call it anything? As a person that is living outside the Iran, you don't know what they are suffering, but they keep on. A time will come they will surface and when they become so great as world power, you start asking Mazi, how did they come? Is it God that blessed them like that? No, it is them. Consistency. They don't care. Are you hearing me? North Korea, they have been suffering, but they keep on. China suffered the same thing. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten 1989 Chinaman Square that was everywhere? Yeah, oh, the China is uh, they are killing their people. Oh, 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 they wanted to use democracy rubbish. This their rubbish they call Western democracy in order to destroy China. China questioning to the extent that oh, they, 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 they will sponsor some people to come. Students will come and protest. Oh, they, they, they will put their camera. Just put your camera, let there be, and the whole world will be talking. But how could you today? Is China not a, the number one economy? Is not a world power? <laughs> Was it like this in the 1970s? The answer is no. They made themselves. Every country is self made. If you are, that's why I used to say it. If you are weak, you have no space in this world. You become perpetual slave, only shouting and complaining. And uh, they are killing us. You have to rise up to resist. They massacre you, you resist, you continue. Until a time we come. No, didn't you see South, South Sudan? Was it not a caricature before? Yeah. At the only time, yes. don't you see they used to use it as an example against our leader? Eh, eh, Mazi, eh, Namdekano, you say you want them. Don't you see South Sudan? They are killing themselves. Are they killing themselves till today? The answer is no. No. They must have the uh, squabbles. That is a product. It, it will never depart completely, but they are come. They have gotten their country. 39 years they endured the massacre from the Janjaweed. 
can we do that only the, almost three years of our leaders um, incarceration kidnapping uh, people who were gone <laughs> bring out our leader and then, so, otherwise i will not sponsor is uh, only our the people are waiting for our leader to come out and judge the issues is when our leader come out complain now you see you see that we are still babies many of our people are still babies mentally they don't know You're that right. this is they a say that nation. Our be what we are fighting is also the mentality of our people. Of course, of course. Some people are still waiting for Martin and the to come and uh, uh, yeah, come and start entertaining us in, in Facebook, in radio. Uh, yeah, that is what they are waiting. They don't know that they can go it's our activism that we bring out Mazen and the Kano. It will come out like Mandela and with our breath and flag. It is our activity. But you see people say, no, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. I think I'm confused now. I don't know who to, I don't know. Wait, let Mazen and the Kano come. How do you think that these kind of people will merit? How do they, this type of people, how do you think they merit, uh, you know, restoration? How do you think they merit genuine freedom? In slaves, they should be. Because they don't know what they want. They thought that everything hinges on one person. Oh, once they come, hey, 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 everybody are cool. Without knowing that we, the mantle is in, on each and every one of us to continue pushing. Is that pushing that we bring out Mazi Namdika? Mazi, please go on. Yes. I also say, I also say sometimes that you see that Diabra is like a pregnant woman. Mazin and the girl is inside pushing. All of us, we're supposed to be pushing at any corner you are. But it's so painful that some of even our people that is in the Western world today, eh, even in abroad here yeah, now, they will, the way they are behaving, you will be asking yourself, is this, uh, this person an evil person or is he reasoning normal? So, like what you answered now, I heard you often mention people even more than five times. You know, so you see that the problem of that country now, Nigeria, where the colonial, where the evil colonial, evil evil colonials are putting us, is the problem there is people, is people. Uh, is, was it a Bangladesh or this um, uh, one of these uh, Asian sides, Bangladesh? I think when their prime minister messed up, they rose up and the meeting the person this thing. What I why, why I ask Sri you Lanka, the, the, Sri Lanka uh, uh, Sri Lanka Sri Lanka yes okay so what I, why I ask you is it uh, uh, um the the country that become great today why I ask you about them is because of people and you answered it the way it is is the people that will make things happen because politicians are criminals it's people that can checkmate them that is why you see in the Western world they are afraid of their their people. You see that if you come in the revolution or all this uh, production, uh, produ production re revolution, if the people that is putting it in Germany, his people that make Germany what he is, is not Angela Michael or his own so or her successor now, he's not the person. So, like what you said, let me not waste much of the time. And the, all I have to say is that uh, the way we are and what you always said, the world is the survivor of the fittest. And we should bear that in mind. And I said it some time ago. Nobody owns this world. Nobody owns this world. If you except if you allow somebody to own your own, that is how it is. Then so we their friends should rise up and take our place in the world, which you always say all the time. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the you. Thank you. The thank woman you. Say, of course. The world is a free place. <laughs> Play your own role, your own card, and take what you belongs to you. If you are weak, there and uh, complaining, <laughs> you become slave forever. That is how the world is. No spirit will come up and point to this one and say, "Ah, Britain, you great." Let me tell you, Britain was colonized by Roman Empire. Do you know that they suffered in between four? 4 AD I mean 400 AD to 412 Britain liberated themselves from their fought they fought the, the Roman Empire 
and liberated themselves, become become independent. Four to four, four, 412 AD. 400 to 412 AD. They did that. So, you, nothing goes easy for any, any country. It's a fight, continuous fighting for liberation. If you are weak, you fight, fight, fight. Is in okay? We fought for our fathers and brothers. Big brothers fought for two and a half years or three years, 1967 to 1970. And uh, they thought, oh, we are one Nigeria. Oh, no problem, nothing mega. Uh, is something mega or nothing really the mega? Are we not today after 50 something years still on the same issue? Had it been, uh, uh, that is it. I sure will say, let us all of us die. We are not giving up. Oh. By now, we are in Biafra since we have forgotten that even we fought, we become a stain of the past. But he who fights to run away, you come back and fight again. If you say, no, I will die now before, if I will die, I don't care, I will die. you will die and reincarnate. Come, you are not going any heaven. Anywhere you hear the cadet. No hell waiting for you. No heaven waiting for you. You will still come back and you will start afresh. <laughs> By that time, you will continue. Well, so, you continue uh, so, uh, Biafra, Biafra. so it's better we do it now and get it. That's it. It's a collective effort. Some people are idiotically thinking that uh, let us wait. Ma let, ka, ka, okay. Ka, we have time. Let us wait. Let Brahmas and the Kano come out. If you stop uh, for contributing your quota, and I stop, I make sure radio Biafra everywhere. I stop. Now you think Brahmas and the Kano will come out even alive? Okay, even if you come out, okay, if you come out and start again, not like in 2012, start broadcasting TV again. I put it on your I be I be again. People guys and I we idiots. They are, we are jokers. Even the world, they will use chemical weapon and kill all of us. Then they are jokers. Look at uh, South Sudan. 39 good years, the first war. And today they have their country. And they are proud to do so. To say it that today we have our country. Go and do like them. Stop believing that one God we do it. Oh, you know, we like a corner, cutting corners, shortcuts. Oh, once we pray and cry, oh God in heaven, oh Jesus Christ, oh give us Biafra. We must face the bitter reality and get it. If we are not ready to face it, which means we continue being slaves. I I be a shekwane Caller, please, caller, welcome to the program. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Mazi Jonathan. Good evening, sir. There were Mazi. There were Mazi. You don't drink Mazi. Yes, what you are saying is the reality. Mazi Jonathan, my name is Mazi Fanyi. Mazi Fanyi calling from his location. Mazi, permit me to greet our HODs. And our leader Mazi Nando Kukano. Mazi, your topic this night is very, very wonderful. Yes, we can never back down to this great gospel of the truth. Mazi, before I proceed, uh, let me just uh, use this opportunity to say Operation Go Back to the Brafra must be obeyed. Operation go, in, go back to Radio Biafra must obey. My, that's my own. And also, Mazi, let me chip into your program or your topic this night. Mazi, Mazi is very, very, is very, very, uh, what am I going to use to qualify it? Mazi, look at Fulani, people telling our people in the query to. To, to to reject their heritage, to reject their identity, to reject their language, to reject where they come from, to reject where their forefathers came from, and they now start advising them. Maze, I believe that our HODs, uh, they know what to do about that. Fulani can never give us advice. 
they can never control us. You see, they want to divide us from equal people. Man, I'm with equal man. I did with equal man. I do everything with equal man. And they all, most of them, or all of them, which I'm dealing with, their name is uh, the same name which I, Mazi Fanyi, is answering Mazi Fanyi. Also, most of them are answering Okechuku. Ikechuku. All of, all of all those names, which is Igbo name. That is what these Ikwede people are answering. And the Fulani think that they are wise, trying to advise them, telling them not to not to identify with their people. But you see this time around, what happened to us in 1967 that never happened again, as long as our HODs are concerned. If they are planning to to divide us in this coming uh, uh, population of counting or census, call it like that, but it can never happen. Our, our HODs, they are wise. They know what they know the game these Fulani people are playing and they know how to how to disorganize their plan so i can never go much on that thing because i know that people that people that is driving us people that is in the head of us they know what to do about that may god bless them and give them strength and wisdom to continue the us and Mas, let me fall back to your religion topic this night Mas, our people have been deceived and we must learn we must give ourselves or put ourselves as an example as i told you last last your program i told you that i i have started my own journey of trying to trying to you know uh counter all their lies about our religion about how how we come to exist about our our main focus and about how we made up as africans and as a uh, black man which I have started whenever, whenever I travel and I see people preaching and telling our people that the manna will fall from heaven. Mas, from there, immediately you want to stop, you want, immediately you stop your preaching, I will take up my own, telling people that this, this thing and this thing is not how it made, that these people are deceiving our people, that we can never allow them to deceive, deceive our people. Which I told you that I was challenging one man, trying to tell our people giving our people for uh, 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 false uh, 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 hoping and the false information and trying to tell our people that manna will fall from heaven as i was countering the man the man carried bible which he then called his bible and they called me sir i'm idiot i said yes because i'm idiot because i don't want you to deceive our people we must learn we must put ourselves as an example that is the way because these people deceive our forefathers by traveling all the way from their place and come to our land and deceive our people with guns and blood, force them to accept this religion. And that is why we must now, we are now using theory part of it to tell our people that what these people did our forefathers is, a, is, a, is not a good one. And is, is a problem to us because most of uh, the 99% 99 of our problem is a religion which the so-called men of uh, pastors i will not call them men of god because i am equally man of god master jonathan you are man of god everybody listening to this video is a man of god i let me use their name pastors because pastors is their title given to them and that is why they are using it to deceive our people then also want to use it to in this our own time we do not refuse to accept them and we now began to ask questions that's why they tried to tag us then called me many names that day which i was traveling with on the vehicle then called me you are vegan you are this you are i said yes i'm that because i can never allow you people to be our people anymore but what are you trying to say these white men these westerners use this religion to deceive our people they use this religion to make our people to to reject and also uh, uh, accept the fact that uh, yes this region is a is a new is a is a stranger to us that our forefathers did not even want to accept it accept them but they use girls and blood to force them to accept the religion and that is why that's where the 99 percent of problem lies in the religion my mass we can never keep quiet you you must continue this good work and every one of us that is listening to you in this religious program must take it individually upon ourselves to start anywhere you are traveling i'm just advising 
Anywhere you are traveling, you, you see these people carrying this big book, call it Bible, and try to deceive our people, telling our people that uh, there's a place that we read in the Bible. Once you go to market, you go to market, you look the person, you look at the person, the person can never feed three square meal in a day, but he's trying to tell that when you read a particular chapter in the Bible, you went to market and you You start, start that moment and countering and letting our people know that these people are deceivers. They are deceiving our people. And that is how we are going to do in order to seduce these people. Because this pro this programming has been taking a years. It has taken a years for them to deceive our people. And they also make our people to always believe on 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 something that can never come to uh, come to exist in life. And that is why we must take it upon ourselves in individually. As long as you are in the on ground traveling, trying to counter them, trying to let our people to know that these people are deceivers. They are not the really people. And the God can never come down from heaven and fight our war or fight our battle. That we must stand in in front and front and fight our battle in order to for we to live fine, in order for we to live good, in order to, for, for we to enjoy the, the good things on the earth. Without that, we can never. Otherwise, we'll be suppressing and suppressing and the, also suppressing until this generation we go and another generation will come. We can never allow the mass. Mass, you know, may God bless you for this your program. Let me stand by and let other people to contribute. There we must continue. No going back. There Whatever it happens, we must face it. May God bless you. Good there night. Yeah, you too. There well. Thank you very much. Uh, caller on what's up? Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Caller on what's up? I think Mazi yeah. could be low. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mazi. Good evening from here, Mozambique. Good night. Uh, yeah, well. Mazi, uh, I want to ask you to come and continue to protect our leader. Mazi, now the character of Chongwa. I want to know who's going to be the most successful. I want to know who's going to be the most successful. I want to know who's going to be the most when <laughs> Yeah, because we have sick a match people this night because of the guinea uh the one of my brother, one of my friend, and I the name of Mabu Maz uh Maz engineer. And uh yeah. Bo on the jamil. On any honey go. On the mat on the equipment, men voice message to voice message to hear on the need of this topic on the way we're going to go because we are now i did john as okay but now we can money get set them again to get another man confused woman again one confused through the religion or through the anything no man is me and that's in the account of my second or that work mass it which would not be getting that but robin is shy you can only one okay what's that I do it by everybody. Go back to the person, go back to listen to the Biafra. Because our people believe that no one can go back to the people. I can hear one name, no wisdom. So that when I got this now long, when I am a sheik, and we could this night, even if we see that people believe now, and not the Kalo or Gapata, they are going to read it after again. No, no. no. Our people are not going this one for Mandela. I want how many of us are in prison. Never feel the canal, the canal, but I can't wait to put 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 the canal, but I or the uh, outside the country, or the prison, or underground. Who's here to the freedom fighter? But that time, 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 that on our side, I didn't bribe. No, don't you, but I only bribe the news. I was a good boy, don't you, but I don't know. 
Maze, all the other sona e ma hi ikuru maze that is why ndigbo eje a ndigbo as source of uh, oh, money money move moving money <laughs> source of money anywhere because he didn't argue, but he said no. Defend the one you defend your right. The one just crying. Don't be. Oh, Tia cannot. But now, hey, then now can That is the thing. Oh my God! 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 Oh my yourself because of Nagi, get a gig and lose in a shop. No, I believe in a church, I'm an assay, I'm in a church. No, for Nigeria, I'm a church, Nigeria, I have a church in Ishi. When every Sunday, I'm a Raya. When I have a one of Nigeria, I have a church. I got what I don't know, but I don't have a table. You know, they believe in me, I feel in Nigeria. Then they believe in the world for two gobble. In the field of Nida, I have some, then I just have a house on the own job. But I have some desire. Me, you know, you don't feel on job. On the by now, like you are, you don't want sometimes. Man, then we hear the go about this night. We don't want to be back again. Now, the by you go see them, man, baru, baru, you go see them, man, baru, baru, kiran kuwa. As of yet, we on the by you go see them, man, baru, kiran kuwa. Because when we on the by now, man, now we we hear you need to hear still, you need to hear still. Now, we know it. That they believe you are not sure that we are not here. That they just want every every thing that they know. But now, this night, on your own one. Money how one is after more. I actually don't watch food and watch it. I mean, auto she go one. I'm gonna go and also near the end of the near the end of 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 the end Oh, but don't get book. Okay, bad one. He have been a bad school. I try. Oh, God, we are in a progress. Nine, eleven months. He have been school. Okay, he no pressure. No, 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 no pressure. Come. Oh, my, can you get more pressure? I'm just doing pressure. Oh, my. Oh, what now? What? He just get more pressure. Oh, my. Oh, go. I will try to get you. Don't you know? Because you have written no one. I get you. Me. You all are running. I will. You like me. I can hear no one. I hear you call again. I hear you. I receive you. Give me your job. I am going to get on Jira Pasto, give on my son, Joe, but I'm put in your person and my father and my own put up. Oh, what would you get at me? My Zemo Caramara no put up in me. These people here now have their own church in the Hapu Church in Nigeria. They are here, they are going here. They are going to church in Nigeria. Mana, oh, but then you need me now. And when you get a garro, you got a sort of the money that they are going for all on Yana Church. Give us the money, they are not to know you. Not to know you, okay, you are taking. I want to say, "Oh, first thing, I want first thing, I get there. Oh, first thing, I get in your yard. Because you want to make it, you know, you bring it out in your yard. When we put that in your, I tell me first, I tell me, I tell me not to not to. When they buy it, they're going to check. I tell me not to not to because of no time by hand hard job. I tell you, we're supposed to do more. We pay too much. We go, oh, we're home one night. Get another. You need another hotel. Go get another. I'm not that simple man. No, but I'm not sure about that one. 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 I'm not sure about and the church gets a When you have a rice, you also have a five five feet bag of rice. You have a win, you have a win. 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 Now, 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 they go not in a church, in a local church in a village. They say, oh, one of us, no, they was a Google, all more than a guy, which is done. I said, it was a killer, 140,000, which is no go. I didn't get a church like that. Siapa yang nak? Ginja yang kau nyanyi kau hati, mahu hati anda gigi kemuliki hango. Hala lah. Awak untuk kucing dan awak untuk kucing mana? Awak untuk kucing mana? Mana? Because ini orang hono. Semua benda kita akan mah. Semua years two years. Uguaj kita sih kabin dengan uguaj. Ni kita ni kita ni kita ni arah. Tiga dah ber. Ini orang orang awak bosi. My brother, a lot of things I know who are the church. Eh, nda mina like this. Oh, nda. I did not guess. Now, the church is not a society. Gaga, give money, man. Give money, man. Give no, 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 no. 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 No,
on him for George Mana. It's not I never better one said that George Mana. That's your boss, so when I had your boss, so maybe I'll buy the money at your boss. I want to get go out here. I look at you. Give me a ticket, I'll go more and what you give me a big game. Oh, that's a game of game of four. Oh, yeah, the church never ever is good here. Never the church. We look at that. We have to do it here. I didn't believe that you are a true Somebody got enough even more. Nine months, one and nine months, about eleven, ten. And I bet I can't get more tarrea. When any of the wisdom, then the wisdom is like a walk out for one for that utopia. Mount that no longer. Only got the bigger, 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 mana, one, 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 one. Oh, in glass, Nanjira, can Nanjira have the worst? Can they be worst? Can they be worst? Yeah, my eyes are lazy. Some people are delays in the money when I write a how in Grahon, Ekuluka. It was so we in a queer, in a grandma when the money on the good today this night. I shall am the elegant on my own phone. So I'm the mad, so I dream plus from a ball of Mandolas and had the paper. Gaona had a hagger because I'm never put out the bar has happened. How well, how well, how well, the flag that I can hear. My witch in my hand, I go get a photo. Money on the good wish of wash. Give me him when he keeps where on where 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 on sense. Get the sense for that on your own. But I give belief for that now. No sort of guy hunting is not get a chum for that. Then what the honey and what the honey name? Man, I give no game on that now. One and a half back again when you give him join you in your boogie. But this is a soft real. My son will never book anymore. My good young queen, when you are risen, come on, he is. Give George and work on your own. We are with the home. We are on the my brother. I believe I don't want to say. Now I'm meeting I, I can look at meeting. I bet you're not the one with Mark Rope without the gym. One solution for football will punish him. Football will punish him. And then you will be better. And then you will be better. My my brother. Oh, what is a mehua? Oh, what is a mehua? Oh, well, now that's not one of the children in everywhere. Naga knows an hour, one knows an hour, one machine, now one more than an hour. Not better anymore, be more something like that. Or you can see what you can see me get. What didn't you until I say, Petros, you can't remember him for your fate? You will have me ask you what trousers are there. When I say, I'm not a trouser, I'm not a trouser, I bet you watch. When I want to ask you what trousers are there, man, I'm not a trouser. You get a free issue. Oh, but no, you get a free issue. I got a church. I'm going to give you a book. You know what this believe for your own good. You know this you believe for. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. You have a magic or not a magic. You think you believe what you make a sound. I'm going to go. You believe. But our people, Nigeria, on the worst. Police in our church have too much. They don't think they have church. They on a Monday, on a Monday, on a Monday, we're going to be like, oh, no, we're going to look at. Oh, we're out the week. I'm like, I do week. And I do this, do this, do this, do this. And I'm going to say, oh, the church, we're going to be like, we're going to be like, we're going to be like, we're going to do week. Week of, we're going to be like, human rights. Week of, we're going to be like, 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 Mira ini sendiri, dia sih nak ni jadi ni dia ini buat way tiap apa pun lah. Nah mian, nah mian, nah mian, nah mian, nah mian, nah mian. Mana game mati ni? Hei, kamu nanda ke nanti? Kau kau show hana shine. Kau 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 show kau buat segala macam macam. Nanti kau buat hana jadi nasi shine. No perlu fasih lagi semua sahaja. Kau harus kau mahu tu kan naga. Jika perlu perlu fasih naga. Allah hei na, oh oh, di pemat di pemat aku tu faham. Allah sendiri. Mana kita show dah big big man nama church nama Nigeria ni. The high church, the highest people nama Munich Bank na na region of the church. Masa the big man is not going to enter the kingdom of God. Okay, it's not going to come and get champion because no one will go Japan. Mana kita orang big man? Kita kita sampai na kingdom of God. I high agenda, I high agenda. Thank you very much for me, Mozambik. Masa bulu. Oh na apa? Ini yang kita pergi. There was Masa, there was. Caller on signal. Masa. If I need to go, can you hear me? Call on signal. Yes, my I can hear you. There were my say. There were, um, good evening, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Uh, my name is Nifan Shukumada, which I'm listening from the Netherlands. You see, if I say, our people must know that the mental conquest of Africa, the Afrolad, and the wider aristocracy and British Zero identity company called Nigeria was premeditated, well planned and well executed. For 49 years, I will say, 49 years before the Evil Berlin Conference where they divided Africa and like that, these people planned how to emasculate Africa and uh, deprive it of its uh, uh, original, uh, you know, um, knowledge and... Uh, I will read this here, please, for, 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 for you know, clarity purpose. 
uh, it is uh, about the planning, the logical planning of the uh, of the uh, mental enslavement of Africa. We have been reading this in this forum, but for the benefit of this argument and for the benefit of people who haven't been hearing it, let's read it. It's not very uh, very big. It's very very tiny uh, article. In, this was uh, uh, a speech made by Lord Macaulay and addressed to the uh, British uh, Parliament on 2nd of February, 1835. That is exactly 49 years before the Berlin Conference. So this might be said, because that time, to understand this, uh, this uh, piece a bit, that time Africa was still seen by the European as a country because they haven't divided it. So you understand. This man said, I have traveled across the length and breadth of Africa, and I have not seen one person who is a beggar, who is a thief. Such way I have seen in this country, such high moral values, people of such caliber, that I do not think we would ever conquer this country unless we break the very backbone of this nation which it has spiritual and cultural heritage and therefore i propose that we replace her old and ancient educational system her culture for if the africans think that all that is foreign and english is good and greater than their own they will lose their self-esteem, their native culture, and they will become what we want them, a truly dominated nation. I have to emphasize this. What they want to do is um, to take away your um, uh, uh, ancient educational system and take away your culture. Take away your high moral value. And, the, and so, when you take all these things from a person, it's like uh, you are eating a pineapple. You roll it in, you roll it in, take, uh, take away the flesh inside it, and the shell will remain. That's what they then uh, did to uh, Africans, and then stuff it with what they want. And that is what we are suffering to today in, in Africa. That people are getting, I will, I will not stop saying things about egocentric education because that's what, what gives us this uh, uh, pastors and priests and, uh, and the bishops and, uh, and the man of God and men of God who are like our brother from uh, America, the first caller said, these people are, you know, physically working like one of us. They are people, they are Yoruba, they are any other ethnic uh, group in Nigeria, they are Christian. And then if you see them talking to you, you will be thinking that you are talking to your fellow son of soul. Or oh, this man is a Roman officer, but he looks like you. That's why when you are t- telling people about the, the fact that our people were used, uh, like Mazo uh, Bina said, we are not telling you not to go to uh, wherever you want to worship, but we are telling you to think about the intention of the people who came uh, and how they came. Let's just talk to them as Jonathan, by the guest. Uh, I, I, will, I will read again the, the, the message of Leopold the second of Belgium to the missionaries, because when you are saying it, that, oh, the missionaries is about the colonialists, about it's a lie. They came for the same purpose, but they have, like to say in their frustration, they can already, I can already at that time. They have division of labor at that point. So, my brother, uh, our brother from Italy, uh, the people, there's something like that, uh, as who brought uh, the present power to, the, uh, to their positions. This is the, you know, that's uh, the, uh, the Americans, the Europeans, the British, uh, yeah, and, uh, and so forth. I think we are, we are, uh, we are from. I will, I will remember this. Let John Maggie Foley of, of Death Memory, that was the late president of Tanzania, he told his people, his countrymen, that they have no uncle, no aunt, no brother or sister coming from abroad to save them, plan for them, 
uh, work for them or fight for them. But they must do all these things by themselves. Yeah. So we, on our own, we must understand that any foreign advisor or, or institution, I will not be naming them, but you know foreign, foreign advisors and institutions, monetary institutions and all the, the like, if they are working in your country, they are working for foreign interests. Nobody will know you or know your interests and your needs and just will serve you. They are working better than your own person who is genuinely one of you. Like our leader, Mazin and the Kano, like our faithful members of the Directorate of State, and like our faithful IPOB family members who have known our plight and our suffering and our, uh, our, our wasting away in Nigeria and say enough is enough, we must install Biafra. So if you are working for one country from the sky to come and receive you, you are in a crook land. It is us. And nobody but our face will rescue, will, will, will restore our Biafra and then and, and make policies that will serve our people and ourselves and serve our people even when we are gone. To live as a normal and, uh, and, uh, and blessed poor being that we are. God bless Biafra. Thank you, my brother. There were, there were, there were Maze. Thank you very much. We are gradually winding down towards the end of the program. I have Kola on WhatsApp. Kola on WhatsApp, please go on. Welcome to the program. Hello, good evening, Mazi. Mazi, you don't drag it. Uh, uh, this is uh, Joe uh, Anna Yochuku from uh, Aba. Uh, this is my first time of calling your program, calling in your program because uh, I'm a good listener, but I'm not a good caller. But um, I must appreciate your hard work because what we are seeing basically on what uh, religion is doing uh, are, you listening, are you listening via the FM or through the app? Through the app. Okay, so the FM is not working. No, it's not working. Well, I've not been trying it because since ever I, I downloaded my app, I've ne I listen every day but not... I've never checked the radio. Okay, okay. Go on, go on. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say is that when you preach about religion, our people misunderstand it. Mostly when Mrs. Namdekalo was telling us about Biafra being our religion. You know, what I've just discovered is that religion is something you pay more attention to, something you give your spirit, something you give your mind. So if Biafra being our religion, that means we are give, we take it as a false target in our lives. Nobody is telling anybody to stop your religion or wherever you worship. But the most important thing is to take the first, first, which is the, very, uh, which is the Biafra. That is how I've seen it. And nobody is fighting any person against his own religion. But what we can talk about here now is that the religion we are practicing is not it has nothing to do with our culture anything that has nothing to do with your culture is not your religion because that is what should be taken first that because your religion tells you who you are you can trust yourself to your origin from your religion from your culture so any religion that you're practicing that has nothing to do with your culture is not your religion because it is it is a way of trying to maneuver your way of reasoning and one, one uh, if we are uh, us that are claiming we are christians let me ask us this question if we if the jews because we have our bible which contains the old testament and the new testament and we read the old testament if the jews are people who so much care about their religion and they want people to uh, follow them. They would have been the people to enforce that their, their religion on us. But they didn't do it because they, it is their own religion. They, they didn't plan to try to uh, colonize anybody. So anybody that is bringing his own religion to you means he wants to colonize you. Because nobody, everybody is he is so specific in his own religion. He doesn't want anybody. I, don't, I wouldn't want you to come and share my God with me. Unless I have a different... Uh, 
I target. If I truly love my God, my God will be my God. If I will be jealousy of my God. I will always want to keep my God to myself. But anybody forcing you to take his own God means he's trying to do something else. Even when I tweet and all those, I, I see some kind of attack, mostly I'm a Catholic. In my own religion, people know me as a, a core Catholic. And because I was brought up, brought up in a, such a family. But when I started following the, mostly your program, I started seeing things differently. So what I want to tell us that religion has to do with you and your tradition. And therefore being our religion means that is our primary aim for now. And that is what we should be going for. That is what we should take first before any other thing. So for you to try to maneuver it saying uh, uh, do is talking against the religion or that, I don't believe in all those things. I believe that he is telling us to take the first thing first. So when everything is over, then it will even you will be surprised to be the one to say, okay, you've been sick for this all uh, for all these years. And I will stop here for now, but I'll be calling this time. I'm happy to follow up. There I'm we. happy to be born again in the in the Biafra realm. I so much love being a Biafra and that is what I will die for. There thank you, Marze. There we. thank you, Marze. You nailed it. You know, there is something like uh, what our brother said. I want to add something. Why are our people worried? Or oh, some of our some of our religious uh, let me call them religious bigots or fanaticals. Worried. Well, we are talking about religion, but they are not worried when you the fellow religious uh, uh, people came in order to speak. <laughs> or have we forgotten? They are not worried when people go on the streets and blastering everybody, preaching the same uh, thing. No, it now, uh, you know, it, it baffles me because that is a colonial mental or superior complex. Now, when we are talking about our experience and historical facts, it becomes an issue to some people. Now, why will you talk about it? But you cannot prevent you when people rise up in the bus, like in our land. You people, the same people will come, let us pray. You start disturbing you, you have no right. They don't tell you, no, 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 don't let this person. They don't complain, they are happy. You see the hypocrisy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is Western hypocrisy. Being imposed you know being carried by the same set of people pro-western i am telling you they are hypocrisy they want always to focus for you to you know uh, do everything at their liking they don't want you to complain they don't want you to react they don't want you to tell them to their face that look what or challenge them no what are you saying what is, is there any fact in what you are saying look at all the opposing argument no 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 they don't want it that time they will start pinpointing that oh you are depriving me from um uh, 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 does it mean that in Biafra we cannot have freedom of worship uh, but uh, you are going everywhere even in the night they were uh, 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 proselyzing or preaching evangelizing it's not a problem to you it doesn't mean any is good do you support it but when opposing argument comes if uh, somebody stand to preach his own now it becomes an issue do you see it's how colonizers work they always want to uh, subdue you it's a full and style no don't don't talk their own don't bring up your own no 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 don't oppose you must uh, continue like continue like that <laughs> no this generation uh, one of our callers he said we must get it in this generation otherwise all of us will perish you if we talk about perishing some people think that he's only dying no 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 you can be a race but uh, you have perished the race peri when the race perish you as an individual you mean nothing when as Igbos you cannot speak a uh, Igbo language again what is the need of your generations coming what is the need where did they come from they speak grammar 
Don't you see before we 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 elogize somebody that speaks a sopre sopre? Oh, come and I speak a heavy grammar. But because of the work of IPOB, we are now trying to understand that it is stupidity. Calling somebody an illiterate because he doesn't speak Queen's English is a inferiority complex. That is inferiority complex. I am telling you. Caller on let me see. Do I have for any other caller? No, it's gone. Caller on what's up? I think you'll be the last caller. Please go on. Thank you for holding on. Can you can you hear me? Yes, Master, I can hear you. Good evening. And there, woman, I see. Go on. Master, this is uh, JP calling from Abba. We are from land. The problem is that uh, the radio is not talking for a long time in Maba. Really? And uh, yes, for a very long time, and the people are. Maze, come with it, 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 come uh, uh, but some parts, some local governments, okay, experience it, uh, or can they work with two, four? Master, Master, uh, side I don't know, but I know side they be side they ain't met out anywhere. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not going to go to the house, I'm not going to go to the house, I'm not going to go to the people keep on asking, that's not going to go to the two, four. But who is your fool? some local governments first. Ema, yeni le o ane bidon one before counting two. Kwena water. Or go out the whole Okay, but 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 Mas, as Ema Aba is an industrial area. Yes. At least equestry bidon from about that industrial area. That main town from like Kare area on a ratio first first road and all that in which is almost the side in big so uh, even as i'm talking to you and you won't go it's okay we are still as long as believing we are still believing that they will, they will improve they will. They will. because we uh, want to plead with you to help us uh, because ah, every meeting they are listening i assure you <laughs> well, I go, so that so that can we tell you that on my radio number people there are many people parents old people are gonna meeting all their cry every day radio so because i want to know nine dollars then i can let them try and fix radio okay Abba, please because we are here and now you is about the what you have been shouting every day about religion issue to be honest with you they have dealt with us these people have if not the, uh, for the coming of IPOB and the radio there from the people like you people in fact I don't know Eba Karano I keep on asking questions, even to the pastors. See, uh, these people will come and preach to us that God will protect, that God will protect us. And at the end, you see them even in the church, even in the, that church premises, in, in the church, even in church service day, you will see security people will mount at the altar, preventing people not to reach the pastors. And you will go to their houses, you will see a giant dog, not one, not two, plus the security people. And why are they telling us that? So it's the same God that that they are preaching to us. Is, is that God was not able to protect them? That that make them to buy dogs and the, and the, and the poor security men with gun in their in their in their gate. That is that is the the, the level that have dealt with us. And one, the other day, one, one, one of them was telling us that we should not be equally yoked with unbelievers. And I asked them, this equally yoked with unbeliever you are talking about, we should not associate with unbeliever down our book in the church again. But when you when you want to travel, you will still go and enter a bus owned by unbeliever. 
what I can do with for your go 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 direct and get your own or uh, verify whether I'm a boss or or a, or a believer where go one believer where. Now these people have dealt with us, but uh, uh, we believe that uh, because there's no way. The other day I was arguing now when I was having coming to vote. I say if you say your grandfather or your your forefathers they they they, they did evil. They are evil. That my own grandfather, my own uh, this, they are not evil men. When you look at the, the activities of this this present time and the activities of of those our ancestors, our great grandfathers, you dare not touch anything that does not belong to you. You dare not drive somebody's land. It's a taboo. You you cannot because the god of that land will die with you. You dare not go after any other person's wife. Like my 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 place. Munye one nigga mo munye onye side the village ni ga dinna ya ala e ga kwa e ga ala i got to pick no boda so but this time all this thing that you will see that is happening now because the sanity have come and they destroy destroy all the source of our our everything about us they dealt with us and they are now giving us false hope but nevertheless we are moving forward and we believe that by the by the but the but you can catch you naked. You go grab your mama. I hear you moody high and at you. Maze, I'm a make a naked naked naked. I'm a gonna go see. Don't drink. I'm a make you go and naked 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 naked. Maze, I'm the cano. Maze, I'm a gonna be catching. I'm trying to go go. Nandi DOS. Maze, she can do them and others. I'm a maze. You don't drink. You go grab your mama. Bahu me. You have no gun to not risk it. Go see her. Most of them never been with her. Never. He had a business, huh? That you need to be near him. Maze at the end, I get what I need. Be afraid. You don't drag it. The what the courage. Thank you very much. And I receive information right away that Abaridio work is going on on Abaridio, and in no distant time, it will be booming. It's an assurance. I just receive it from the people responsible so we'll continue and dear friends and lovers of freedom what we always fuck about or say here is the reality facing us undiluted like our brother said how the how stupid we have become when you are in a church whereby they tell you that uh, jesus protects you he is all powerful he gives you protection he does this he do that once you believe in him you know you will not uh, no weapon that is fashioned against you that will prosper you know and the person that is telling you this he will be selling to you, use this sticker, use this handkerchief, and uh, you'll be protected. No kidnapper, no this and that will make. <laughs> but the person telling you this, he's, he rounded himself up with the physical security men armed to the teeth. He has a bulletproof car. Don't you see that I will deny here, Beacon? Don't you see that? <laughs> Don't you see that? Somebody that is telling you he is praying, you know, miracle money will enter your phone. Miracle alert. But after all these things, he will still tell you to come and give your physical money. <laughs> you push nigga, you know, once they, uh, you know, they whine you now with a sweet talk. And as a believer now, because you're a believer, you want to know Chuku. Want to As a believer, you always believe. No proof, so you have to believe. Those be uh, blessed are those that believe, but they didn't see. Eba eba no no rio 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 ndi ba e kaya, you know, chineke. So you don't need to prove what you have believe. Then, if this world is going on that belief system, belief, belief, no proof, no knowledge, no seeing, you just believe. 
Do you think that you'll be having all this modern technology? The answer is no. So when the person that preaches you miracle money, how everything, but at the at last, he will tell you, come and bring your own physical money. You don't tell him, but uh, Oga, Oga pastor, what, that miracle money, what pray now, let that money, angel put money in your account. Why are you telling us now? You see that he is getting his own miracle from you. Omatran, ships. Omatran, say no to being a sheep. Sheep is the most stupid ruminant. <laughs> I am telling you. Sheep. A pastor. A pastor is the one who feeds a, uh, who, uh, a pasture to sheep, to animals. That is a pastor. You understand? That is a pastor. You know, so they don't see any other thing. They call you sheep. And you said, "I back him and I him as you even." You know, <laughs> oh, when you get one of my friends, uh, you know, long time him work and you know put the virgin. He say chop a draw for Germany, chop a draw, chop a. If you go this side, chop, you know the old time where they never know, they never open eye. Ori a draw na munchin, oje na uh uh to God, or nana kwa another draw, oje na Koblenz, the same or nana kwa draw with different. Oh, he say he answer name. He start answering. There is a place he answer. What is your name? He say Oyibo. You are son name. He say Mumu. So anytime they will call him, if they are calling, if they come out, they are calling him. Oh, you bo mumu, he say. Ah. <laughs> oh, you bo mumu. <laughs> so he had the pastor and I put here on your own. Oh, 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 my turn on mumu, mumu, man, I come, mumu. And you, you just say, look at. I mean, anytime he just, I'm not poking kids. In the church, we come miracle. And now, what's it going on? In your zone, I get you. You guys are not bomb boy, huh? Chukusi is here, dear. Oh, na mumu we we don't mumu eh. I mumu eh. In a ye, only a na ye less suit oh ye. Only the suit covers all five thousand dollars plus. Why that uh, small one is? Oh, but I say I get where my I get where my bandi ne where na pon kendi ne where tinye na na kendi where. Oh, he na ga on he kwagi zoku. That's why even the rich uh, America, Western countries are exploiting the poor, miserable ones. I get where na bandi ne where the we got tinye kwon ado na bandi. As long as ha the wise you mumu, you must be given now. E gane nye ha. You are you are turn now. Anything that you believe, no, 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 don't argue. Don't uh, you want to question God? In our junior, is he are you God? Who am I seeing? Is it God or you? What is God even? Is it you? So let us remove ourselves from this mumu, mu, mugu, huh? Na boy, mugu. Somebody will be promising you that there was you. I pray in Jesus' name, no weapon that is fashioned against you. The angels will guide you all around this and that. And you mumwishile you accept. You don't ask as he is going. Military and police round him up with physical soldiers. You still don't open eye to ask, Sinna. But what came on a preach that a God's protection heavenly so which means that the God's protection is it not uh you don't need it or what? Why is he carrying physical police and military? Don't you see how, how things, how, how, you know, once you mugu fall, gaima walk all here no no walk. I am telling you, when mugu fall, gaima must walk now. So I be a kwa a twist, so get twist, so get any natural thing that happen on you. That you know that is why you see this religion. You see this religion. Hey, it's a it's a chain. Once you, once that anything, you, as long as you believe or you have been mesmerized with the brainwashing, 
anything natural that happens to other person happen if it happens to you you now say ah it's because of that thing that belief hey man of god is powerful but it happens to other people now don't believe that it, everything is natural what is so special that happens to you as you say you're a believer that don't happen to a muslim or a hindu or an atheist or somebody that doesn't even believe anything that believes uh, what 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 is there any extraordinary thing the world is a natural place where things happen to anybody the way you go and uh, you know or uh, buy food another person uh, unbeliever infidel believer the same thing the way you seek another person seeks the way sometimes you have a date before you know it's not, you don't even believe anything before you know maybe that headache you just cause by after you just rest after that headache come out you feel better you didn't even take medicine but once you are a believer you believe that oh is the past is this a holy oil i rub now that make it you don't know that it is something that is natural maybe it's your natural immunity that just fought it immediately the same way it can fight the natural immunity can your body immunity can fight against any disease uh the body immunity of a hindu can do the same thing the unbeliever his body immunity can do the same thing he can have a, a headache or diarrhea after even without drinking medicine without it before you know but you i am not saying i'm just giving an example i'm not telling you not to drink medicine but i'm just giving you example on things that happen you are saying before because you pray now you believe that it is what makes it work do you see that if just watch if Mazin Namde Khan, for example, he comes out all of a sudden, they say, okay, discharge and acquitted, and the following day he come out. You will see Agana Sosios or which God that did it. You see people that will say, ah, I killed uh, Goto on his behalf, you know, uh, 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 yeah, in Ushimin uh, Jabba, you know, Rash, you know, this and that. And the one one say, I have been praying and fasting, I said it. I saw it in my vision. The man of God told us, you know, okay, last December, I was uh, dreaming, and when I woke up, and I saw in a dream, and the man of the canoe was released. Had it been he come out, you will see him at once, hey, why why we expose all this is for our mumu don't do there is nothing that can happen to you as a christian that never happens to other people that are not christians there is nothing that can happen to you as a muslim that never happens to other people or that will not happen to other people as non-muslims there is nothing that can happen to you as a traditionalist that never happens to other people as a non-traditionalist now what is it then plus one minus one equals to zero back to the status quo the same thing now why do you see it as a why do you see that you are lucky for example you wanted to cross road and all of a sudden you didn't look well but there was a car that was car and luckily you escaped well, you just you just escape he said you are fortunate whether you shout jesus so it can happen to somebody and he say ah namwe yeah 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 they quite lucky it can happen to somebody and shout uh, oh, get you and yeah they quite lucky it can somebody it can happen to somebody that uh, use f word on uh, any deity or any god and yeah they quite lucky so what then is the problem why then is you are you more superior or what is happening to you is more or it doesn't happen to others it never happened our brother have been shouting this for so long. He said, Oh, quiz non name miracle. But try on ya go go on you more look on ye. This is also go go on you. She has a home address. I got our the family. Our job the village. I said, No, yeah, could be she on your own. I'm my mom on your bridge. Mana August reporter. Oh, the query, yeah, who's yours. 
Since how many years? I want you to go. I am. Social media. Somebody could that in na, na this river. Na mummy what I call singing in one minute. I won't you be one day. I didn't listen to it very well. But I saw a pastor challenging blue boat Ghana that river. See, yes, I can. So I said, ah, uh, so these people can answer to challenges because they know that what is also a scammer. The person that says if you come to this river without doing this. He said, oh, 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 will kill you, Abi. He said, you will drown. It's a lie. All these are coming. He knows uh, that pastor. That's why he carry boat. He knows that uh, nothing will happen. If even he himself, if he challenges and say, if you come this side, Jesus will kill you. You see, people, I will go. If I, I will go there, nothing. You know, Jesus will go. It will not happen. But the real challenge that they have been using bring somebody that have been satisfied that he was crippled. People knew him. Because a cripple doesn't he doesn't hide. People the family will know him. The community will know him. Bring and you have healed it. <laughs> no since how many years? Nothing. So you see that in here I say no yeah. In here manipulation. I say no man here. Yes, clear. All they go clear. Imagine that they will really own your mama who preach. Do you think that a uh, 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 Nigeria agent of Bobby Abu? Do you think so? You know that you need our manipulations. Our people should stop being manipulated. Now, taking the small one you have before your in your pocket in reaching already rich scammers stop it because you are the victim you are the mugu he is the master oh sofia grenya kaina kowarono ya konna gota yo fuma inde abera ibu ibu bu os abu ai mentality ai Maybe Akbarama Wai divide the into pieces. A brother will hate his brother. A sister will hate his family. Everybody will be afraid of each other. Things will fall apart. I see in all this they are distant funny videos. Somebody will dress uh, just men's nanya, dress all oh, with red with the calabash and come the, the way people will fear and run away i say oh this thing it, it makes me wonder i say how have this religion made turned our people into cowards fear you see something somebody that wear black you are afraid you run why are you running why are you afraid nope you say you are god and i'm the power of, but you if it comes to fear you fear more than anything you run why are you running all these things is to demonize our system that is what we are trying to say here for us to go back to who we are we are talking about our language Igbo language that is diminishing this is part of going back to our roots are you hearing me to start teaching our children to start understanding you know making sure that ahame funa that is what we are talking but people will not understand some people are mischievous you know that they don't understand but they don't want to they don't want to they block their mind that look if you want let them talk me i have uh, i day we are day. this is a very wrong approach we are Basing our argument on logic, we are stop hardening your heart, open your heart in order to reason. You with logic, when you hear you reason, you compare on contrast. That is the thing. We are not uh, saying it that we know all. if you have a superior an argument, bring it out. Now we iron it out to understand. We want to go on superior argument. Why America is great today is because they experimented on a superior argument which they learned from the awakening the european awakening 
they say now nah, let us apply this in a government in a country that we are going to uh, restore or we are going to uh, you know build and it is working america is the product of the enlightenment are you hearing me so they say okay let us base our ideology on equality not because in all the europe they were on feudal they were feudalistic monarchistic they were monarchies and feudal system lords and uh, landlords and tenants and uh, squatters there are people that we are born higher than others the noble which uh, britain united kingdom is still practicing spain is still practicing uh, belgium is still practicing a monarchy it doesn't matter how they have modified it it's still the same monarchy they call it constitutional monarchy you know they give it name that is their pro is their natural system they are modifying but let us modify our own they say no let us bu build you know stay in a place that is natural to us an ideology that is not they say no 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 you must stay in nigeria you must continue this thing you are doing it's good for you how do strangers know what is good for us more than we ourselves tell us tell me tell me now they use religion in order to scatter our brains in our was gonna one day give me a if you are discussing with your brother something sense something logic and sensible he will base an argument bible say the book of corinthians say exodus say this you now say why can, can't you remove this and let us talk logic those are those things you are referring to even if it happens is old times you cannot use old bottle to pour new wine it cannot work let us talk about our lives today say no no the book of uh to say come on we are in a modern age in 21st century please we need to reason we are people are clamoring fighting building technologies in order to go to outer space now you want to go to that the same heaven you think is up where you think is up i don't know uh, only when you die whereas people are using technology to go their life go to that heaven where people are flying no force of gravity they are going there with technology why alive but you are waiting when you die does it make you a uh, equal human being with them no ask yourself these are questions mundane questions you need to ask yourself today dogs are being sent to school to learn you understand dogs are being trained in schools to learn we are asking you yourself you don't even have reason commonsensically you don't reason what is one of the reasons somebody are calling somebody a father he don't is is in he is banned from he doesn't marry he doesn't have but you are calling a, 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 a boy of 35 years you see an 80 year old man calling him father yeah, your father does it don't you think that in all these things are bondage they put us don't you think so no more respect our tradition killed nothing no more you call him you tell somebody you you have a family with your children you have problem with your wife or your husband and now you carry a problem to somebody that never have experience of marriage to settle your issue don't you think that there is a problem in your head don't you think so he will be advising you on which experience i call like this because um the way they have messed up with our mentality is so bad it's very very bad you see somebody preaching to you that uh, we have power, I have this and that, but uh, telling you that God will protect you, but himself that is telling you that he have a uh, physical people protecting him with guns and bullets. Now we tell you, Mugu, yeah, go, 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 and the Holy Ghost will protect you. Don't you think that? Don't you know that you are stupid? You stupidity. Let us reason. This is where I'm going to stop. Biafra remains our way of life is our ideology Biafra remains everything we have is is our religion and nothing more so 
we must make sure to protect this struggle with our life i am telling you because no person is going to do it for us our brother asked question he said who build this uh, uh, big countries today developed countries i said no they did it by themselves <laughs> Oh, some of them once you study history you saw you you read what what they passed through if they tell him uh you don't even say i say that the organ you go when you hear the book oh my god i said now come no no problem no some of these countries what they saw you you cannot pass through it now will you can you you cannot you cannot they endured. Is it not South Africa where people fool? Yeah, yeah, I know no South. I know no South. I know no, no South. But uh, they suffered for many decades. They suffered. Their leader was in jail. Many of their people, many, Stephen Biko, Steve Biko and others, many others were hanged, slaughtered, killed like a chicken. Uh, but they continued. They never slacked. Their leader was Mandela was there for 27 years. 27 years. And he didn't stop them. But look at our leader, our leader, only three years. Look at many people. Some people have said, nah, I will wait until he come out. You you wait. <laughs> you create a vacuum with that you are waiting. So if you wait, I wait. Mazichina and will wait. Um, everybody, every other person wait. What will happen? Everything will collapse, isn't it? Now, Mazin Namdekan, even if he come out, he will not come out to see anything again. He will clap for us, say, thank you for waiting. Let us start afresh. Uh, do you see stupidity in the highest level? Do you see that? We must continue pushing on because it is our pushing that we bring Mazin Namdekan out. Nothing more. It is our activism. Nothing more. If uh, we stop, <laughs> if, uh, uh, now we say it becomes fatal that's it so we must continue the same way anc continued mandela understand and knew that the people are doing something else it's not like this time this uh, time of social media age we are anything that time oh he was to, to sometimes to visit himself it's not easy it takes time sometimes one year for even his wife that time when to visit him look at uh, abdallah chalam since 1999 today he's still in jail in turkey uh, does the uh, pkk stop the activities does they do they start waiting and say no let us rest until uh, abdallah our leader i will come out he will judge this case let me just wait when he come out yeah we could be weak people since 1999 abdullah chadang was kidnapped from the same kenya the leader of uh, the Kodis, uh, people's uh, Kodis, uh, kodistan Kodis movement and he was kidnapped and sent to to jail since 1990 he's still alive but he's in jail solitary confinement the jail they put him is an island no other beauty no other place there no so he's there and but this are still moving on how can our own be different i get all the mentality anyway and we want freedom all the way it seems we are perfect slaves now now instead of being doing hard thing on now kind of now 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 as I, I at least if i get something to chop me and my children even if um they see if i walk walk build they destroy no problem i start again jehovah ways yeah we couldn't weak indeed the weak that is it but this time around this generation we have decided to say no we have decided to put a stop. Therefore, we must continue until Biafra is restored. Thank you for listening. From me, Mas Jonathan Chiledu, from here, it is simply good evening. Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media. IPOB call to action. Biafra's return to farming. Invest in agriculture.
Have you ever paused to question the importance of self-sufficiency in food production, food self-sufficiency, or the ability of a nation to feed its own people from its own resources, plays a pivotal role in securing a country's future? It's more than just filling our bellies. It's about nourishing our economy, our workforce, and our independence. Imagine being at the mercy of external sources for your daily bread. It's like a constant game of tug of war at where your sustenance is the rope. Any moment the balance could tip and you'd be left scrambling for resources. This reliance could pose potential threats to national security and economic stability. Outsourcing our food needs puts us in a vulnerable position, susceptible to price hikes, supply chain disruptions, or even political manipulations. But let's flip the coin and look at the benefits of self-sufficiency in food production. Firstly, it empowers our economy. When we invest in agriculture, we're not just planting seeds in the soil, we're sowing the seeds of economic growth. The farm-to-table journey involves many hands, from farmers to transporters, from retailers to restaurateurs. Each link in this chain represents a job, a livelihood, a boost to our economy. Secondly, it ensures food security. By growing our own food, we can control the quality and quantity of our produce. We're also less likely to experience food shortages, ensuring that no one in our community goes to bed hungry. Lastly, it promotes sustainability. Agriculture done right can be a tool for environmental conservation, preserving our land's fertility for future generations. So you see, self-sufficiency in food production is not just a matter of pride. It's a matter of survival, of economic prosperity, and of national security. Understanding the importance of food self-sufficiency sets the stage for our discussion on the call to action from IPOB. Recently, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, called on Biafrans to return to farming and invest heavily in agriculture. This is not just a call to action, but a clarion call for survival and self-sufficiency. The world is on the brink of a food crisis, and Nigeria is no exception. An impending famine looms large. threatening to cast a dark shadow over the, the world is on the brink of a food crisis and Nigeria is no exception an impending famine looms large threatening to cast a dark shadow over the